Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> that's on that's our names <laughs> in case you didn't recognize us you probably can't hear you either Rem true. they can't hear words you're saying jeremy uh, well, probably knew it called it i'm gonna it. i'm gonna demark oh, i'm not you're not yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, What's don't up? take those off. What's up, motherfuckers? It's good to wear the mask. These masks we got from attending the last episode of The Burnt City. So, uh, I, yeah. I now wish that I um, had done more with my eyes while I was there and just gave people like crazy looks because it's the only thing you can <laughs> see. Yeah, that's a good point. You, we should give more stuff. Yeah, do more emoting with the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's weird to look at it, actually. Now that I get to see myself in this stuff and realize what I look like. But anyway, welcome into this episode of Don't Get Me Started, episode number 139. Correct. I can get comfortable now. Oh, yeah. Ah, <sighs> you are nailing the look. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just do the rest of the show like this, even though I'm not wearing the mask anymore. Mm. It's Monday, Alex. Mon Sunday, Monday, happy days. That's Let the end just... of the week because the weekends after we've DGMS'd and that's true. You, you just sat there twiddling your thumbs, waiting for the next DGMS. Basically, we expected a hat, not a mask. A hat. Because mm. yeah. you wear hats, Jeremy. That's your thing. I do wear hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I haven't worn hats a lot this summer because I've been too what too warm, too hot. It's been a hot, hot summer. And for I haven't, uh, I haven't hated my hair this summer, which that's... is weird. I see that Rue is in, though. Rue was in. That was 10 minutes ago. I don't know if, if they're still in. Good evening, hat boy. <laughs> Some things never change. Rue is still in, according to the chat. So, Well, that's good. So there you go. Always be hatting. Um, welcome in on this a Monday. Um, I'm Alex. This is Jez. If you've never been here before, well, I mean, catch up. This is the 139th episode. There are our names. And uh, I'm having to go to do a work thing tomorrow. Uh, so I can't be here tomorrow. And to be fair, Monday works better for me for the next fortnight. So I'm good with it. So as a result, uh, we're here tonight and we'll be here next Monday because a week's time, I'm going to go away to Essen uh, for the fucking about with Petty a thon. Uh, so that'd be good. So welcome in. Uh, thank you very much, Tamsin, for the 139 dog related bits yeah we're better without the dog but we'll we'll accept them anyway hello to joe because of course because it's on a monday it's not a tuesday so even if her dungeon master had returned and i don't know whether they have monday is good for joe so she's here i still find dungeon master sounds like something completely different from what it is dungeon master. i mean it's a bit like you going to your snm meeting oh really. yeah i'm off to an snm event yeah do you know what? That joke, like, I mean, is good. But at the same time, <laughs> like, no one ever makes it at work. Because, like, by that point, everybody that doesn't go to the SNM makes it. But everyone at the SNM never says a word about it, you know. And you think that with the group of people that I know, it could be a good SNM event in that way. I just feel that they would buy into it. They're all kind of, like, older and open-minded. So, you know, if Kinky ever there was fuck. an opportunity, Get yeah. Get their tits out all the time. I would reckon um, a single version of myself could could clean up at an event like this. Sounds like I'm playing poker. I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, Full house? <laughs> absolutely. All in. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, welcome in, everybody. I'm away this week and next week. And with any luck, um, with any luck, I'll be able to stream next week when I'm over in Germany. But we'll see how that works. Or at least maybe put some bits and pieces up. Uh, I don't know what. But... Hopefully we'll go past the place that does Tony and Nails. We can do the Tony and Nails dance again, but who knows? What happens at the SNM meeting stays at the SNM meeting. It doesn't. Everyone talks about it for ages and ages and ages. Yeah, it's not very good S if uh, nobody talks about it again after the meeting. And it's definitely not very good M yeah. if it's not talked about afterwards. That's kind of the point of the SNM meeting. 
Yes, an M. <laughs> the I should it should be good. I'm having to drive up to Essex for it. It's going to be a lovely little S and M X. It's going to be a lovely like you know it's like a wedding venue we place like a you know a country house kind of place in the in, not in the blur sense. Perfect place for uh, a bit of S and M. Oh yeah. Are you going to pretend that you're like on the traitors? Maybe you should take one of these masks and just <laughs> like. I'm 100% faithful. Do you know I should keep going around? You should keep going. You should play it like it's the traitors and just go, I'm 100% faithful. I just want to let you know, everybody, I'm 100% faithful. Yeah. Just to let you know. (laughs) Just keep doing it. And just what the the fuck is he talking about? And like, right. So so when is the banishment? I thought we'd have had one by now. (laughs) At breakfast the next morning. We'll all be down for breakfast. Oh my God, you're still alive. You're still here. You're still still here. here. Oh, and just rush up and hug someone. Yes, mate, you have to do this. I wonder if that's going to land, because I feel like it should. It should do. I mean, it's it's not like, you know, the usual kind of obscure thing that only we watch and because it's from another country. It was country. very popular, it though. It was very popular, and it's back again soon. So yeah, um, I, I think you should you should try it. Yeah, I, I got the shield, obviously, so, uh, so <laughs> I, I couldn't be killed. That's why I'm still here. You know. But I, I am 100% faithful. You can trust me. I got the shield. Um, if um, the sales and marketing team uh, rotate who is going to organize these things, normally it's like four people get asked to plan this and they get given a budget and they say, find a place, put some activities in there, organize the food, let people know they do the same. So it rotates around. So someone will do like the London one. One time we went to Flight Club, which is a darts place. Another time we went to Monopoly. And I so mean, what happens in Flight Club definitely <laughs> stays in Flight it, Club. It doesn't. I told everyone because I won. <laughs> so it was amazing. And by the way, I won so much of that darts thing. It was incredible. And it really pissed off my boss. He was like, how did you win? I don't understand it. And I'm like, well, we like got this. more points. <laughs> and he was like, it didn't make any sense. We won the first one and you lost the first one. This is the, the motion you're looking for. Just <laughs> just like that. I got so angry about it and I never stopped bringing it up. So, but if, I tell you what, if eventually they did say, listen, we're not going to let the sales team do it or the marketing team. We're going to let the team that Alex is on, the demand team, we'll let them run it. What are you going to do as an activity? Traitors. I could do the traitors. I could just run the traitors. And like throughout the day, we'll just get together and vote people off throughout the entire day. And we'll just keep going and going and going. It would be amazing. It would I'll, be a lot of fun. I got, I'll just make three people. But the thing is, we'd have to work it out. Like, I mean, it's stupid really, isn't it? Because you have to do tasks then. And you see who's trying to. Well, I mean, it's like team building y type shit, isn't oh, it? Super... So it does work. It does work, doesn't it? Work because thing. it wouldn't matter if, if we, we did one time, we did a thing which was throwing bits of paper at each other. It was like a line in the center of the room, and everyone had a load of screwed up pieces of paper. And the idea, a bit like, it was like dodgeball, basically. But you weren't hitting each other, you were just throwing them onto the other side. So you basically had to throw them. And then at the end of it, when the whistle went, whoever had the least on their side won. Like you had to get, you're getting it out from your side, you're right. throwing it at the other people. So, you know, that would be a perfect thing for a traitor to fuck up. It's like, oh, I didn't throw it quite far enough, right? Mm. And then at the end of it, whether they were or not, someone would say, well, I saw that like um, Bob didn't really throw very well. So I think he's a traitor. Yeah. I don't... Bob's only got one arm, Steve. <laughs> give, him a, give him a break. That's a bit of a traitorish claim there. <laughs> it would totally work. I would definitely do this. Like I, even Harmstone would be down for a, a traitors based like team building work thing even harmstone and he hates all of that shit could you hire a place and just do your own traitors you could well i mean you could do it like on a private level you couldn't do anything useful with it because it's a copyrighted thing yeah but but i mean could you run it like you know like get 30 people in charge them a load of money i mean the like the they could come and shut you down if they really wanted to but they probably wouldn't do you know, Certainly we could do it amongst times. ourselves, though, couldn't we? Yeah. We could just do it amongst ourselves. Yeah, we could. Yeah. And it'd be very simple. I mean, the hardest bit would probably to... <laughs> Bob didn't toast with everyone, so he defo is a traitor. <laughs> do you remember that when, like, the woman didn't toast and she only had one arm? Yeah. And it wasn't in front of her arm. She only has a left arm and it was in front of that. So, like, she didn't toast everyone. And it's like, I only have one arm and I didn't do it. Mm. And it's like... <laughs> we've <laughs> we've been idiot. watching the... Uh... The second season of the Australian Traitors. Oh, okay. And let me tell you, never have I ever <laughs> seen a more idiotic, dumbass, fucking leapy bunch of useless <laughs> cunts in my life. <laughs> Honestly, they are the worst, the absolute worst at, at the game, at everything, at life, at breathing. They just suck. 
I tell you what, I'm, I have to say, do you remember that woman that was the woman in the English one? It's the only one I've seen the English one. Yeah. I can't remember the name of her, but she would leap to something and then everything after that was what she was like taking off. The first premise was fucked. And then everything after that, by the way, Alita hates this right now. She fucking hates this shit. <laughs> but like, um, you, she kind of just kept making leaps of fucking logic that just didn't make any sense. And, I'm, and everyone's like, what are you talking about? You fucking idiot. But yeah. Um, I, d- no, I don't know if our uh, internet is shit in the bed right now. It's it's uh, coming up at, at zero. Yeah, weird, weird, weird. Reconnection successful. There you go. Okay. I don't know what the fuck it's doing, but I would happily set up a retreat where you lot play traitors, and the cost of the tickets covers me sitting in the spa with a daily massage for the duration. What a bunch of fucking idiots! <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I just think I'd love to run. If they ask someone to, if they do you want to run it? I'm like, I'm running traitors. You all be put into groups, and in perhaps in each group, there's someone that's a traitor. So yeah. Like, oh, well, we should be back now. We did drop for a bit, but we should be back. I don't know if we are back. Mm. You have yeah. to let us know when we're back because it seems like it's okay to us. Yeah, and we're still recording this, so we'll talk for the recording anyway, whether we're actually here or not. So, uh, do. Do let us know. We'll just have to back. say connect. Oh, connecting to chat. If it says connecting to chat, yeah, uh, maybe it's not back then. Oh. Mm. Welcome to the chat room. Still says extend. Still, still says so, ended. Still says ended. But we I can, can hear, hear you talking. talking. Yeah. So you might, you guys might need to refresh your your thing. But we're here. Thank you for the update. Thank you, Vanessa. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think we're. Are we okay now? We should be okay now. People will sort themselves out. Aletha popped her head out and said, oh no, she put it there. I knew I'd said it. No, but I would love to run a thing. Like there's 50 people that goes to this thing. And I think if you put a few more traitors in there, say you had groups of, uh, I don't know, say there's 40, you know, groups of 10. Could you put one? How, what would the ratio be? You could work it out. Yeah. How many people are actually at your kind of like things? I think 40 or 50 people. It's too many for traitors, but. Yeah. Talking but black screen. Yeah, refresh. Give it a refresh and see what happens. Yeah. Hundred percent faithful, mate. Hundred percent. Hundred percent streaming, mate. We're definitely back 100%. on there. Like I I I you might be acting a bit disconnected right now, but yeah. I, I am definitely one hundred percent connected yeah. to the internet. Yeah. Refresh sorted it. Absolutely. Oh yeah. It was weird. We I uh, don't know why it did that, but it's back. Yeah, I almost I just really want to do a big thing. And like various different bits, and I'll just say to everyone, you won't. You have to guess who the traitors are. You won't know if they're making traitorous decisions. Plus, the only times they can talk to each other is when they can find to talk to each other. So at the end of the night, so what? They, so what? They don't have a like a a tower or anything. The thing they, is, how would you to, do that? They've got to do it in because we're only in one place. Sight. I mean, it would be too many people to do it with fifty. You said fifty would be about eight traitors if you use the the you know the normal ratio. But over over what's this over the course of two days? You get there on Tuesday evening. You meet everybody. Yeah. Then you get Wednesday, and they go. They they're done by the last day. So you really have to get everything really done. On yeah, the it wouldn't day. work with that many people. You'd have to do it. You'd have to do it in separate groups. At which point you wouldn't get any other like work stuff done. <laughs> you would a, literally just be there playing traitors, and that and that's it. So. From a team building perspective, I feel like it would probably work. Make, probably make people trust each other less rather than work better as a team. Perfect. I love it. Perfect. That's, that's, that's we, what you really want. Because yeah. it's bullshit anyway. Yeah, team it's building. Nonsense. You don't come out of a team building and say, oh, I really feel like I got to know blah, 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 as I made a boat out of plasticine and tried to make it float over the moon. It's just we all should nonsense have, shit. We should have situ- We have, have things around the place. If you want to make like a real life among us, you have things that maybe have to be in a certain way. Like around the place, you have things like a tower of stuff or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and for every second the tower is out of place, you lose points yeah. or something. So you come back over it to it. Who who touched this? Who was last here? Well, I saw such and such over here. You know, yeah. But it's like no, I didn't touch that thing. That's it, because that that's what we uh, were discussing last year when when the traitors was on was that the the kind of tasks aspect of it is flawed and doesn't really add anything to the the actual traitor game hmm. so an idea like that whereas no there's stuff there's stuff lying around or there's something something happening in the place that you can sabotage as a traitor yeah that, 
you're more likely to get caught then. But Real life among us would be hilarious. It would. I'm surprised that that hasn't been a thing that people haven't just you know rented out a space and just you can come and play real life among us yeah like because you can blast out a bunch of games in like a couple of hours yeah you could you just pay for an evening of it when you do it when you kill someone you just like that yeah and then they're dead yeah and they have to lie on the floor easy yeah if you get stabbed here's the game guys if you get stabbed don't fuck around because it fucks up for everybody else yeah if you get stabbed you fucking lie down there'll be another game coming along yeah There'll be another game in a couple of minutes. And when, you know, somebody hits the buzzer or you when you're discovered, rush. then you can be exited out of the side door oh, or shit. something. Hey, why aren't we running this? We should run this. Yeah. It'd be so easy. Patent don't... pending. Pa- patent pending. Yeah. No one likes a miss if your first out is not value for money. No, that's true. Um, but I would imagine you get quite a lot of goes for your money. Fuck basically. off is what I would say to that. I think... Don't be so shit and don't die first. That would be the message. I mean, you can still be a ghost, though, right? Yeah, yeah, you still get to be a ghost. You still get to so, play. Yeah, so how do you do that? Maybe a mask like that. You yeah, once work, you're dead, once you can you, go around and still complete you, things. You have that mask on the back of your head or something, and then when you're dead, you put it over, and then you can be a ghost. Yeah. After you've been discovered, because you've got to be discovered. Yeah, once you've been discovered. Also, I have to say, I know this sounds shit, but if you die... I mean, Among Us is terrible anyway. Okay, it's not terrible, but like, I don't like it. But the bottom line is... Once you die, laying there... It's getting less terrible now he realises he could make serious money out of it. Um, Once you die and you have to lay there, that's kind of, you know, just being like, Uh, it's kind of fun. I I are so dead. Yeah, what am I going to do? I hope someone finds me. And then (laughs) Somebody just walks past and doesn't notice you're like, Uh, Guys, guys, uh, guys. uh, Oh, I hear hear the sound of a giraffe dying. I wonder where that's coming from. Chino, we could call it, we can't call it Among Us because it's probably copyright. We'll call it like, um, space social deduction game or something <laughs> really stupid With, within the group amongst others <laughs> <laughs> right all you need is a big warehouse and you need to make it like the thing and everything has a has a has a, has a task in it yeah and you all have a task to do like it, you, yeah it's just super easy one big empty warehouse space that we put up partitions and and create your own rooms with it because they don't need to be that sturdy or anything yeah you put you put a few little like vents or you know doors between the the different rooms vents yeah oh you vented you vented because you'd have to sprint back to the cafe to hit the button like yeah and it would just be hilarious mate we have to do this this is incredible it'd be really good to make a real life traitors yeah a real life uh, among us yeah yeah, because it would be so it would be so cheap. I love how you don't even you... need to hire actors or anything for that kind of thing. Like literally, the the people that come are the game. Yeah, you just need the space. It's so good. I mean, I know that they're all the same game. I get that they're all social deduction. I mean, there's there's variations on a theme in a way, um, in terms of like the method of it, which it's the method that appeals. It's like Among Us works probably better than trying to get a if you were to bring from an escape room point of view mm. you can get a lot of games of among us done yes. whereas if you do traitors you're saying it's 500 pounds for a weekend and you're going to stay there the whole time and you've got to then cater it and you've and got you've to got provide to, accommodation yeah, and all that kind of thing whereas you can you can have like a all right group of eight booked for seven yeah. and you're out at 10 and then the next group can, can be in at 10 and you get three hours of however many games you can between those eight people yeah and it would be be hella good yeah and the thing about that yeah obviously it's the same as like yeah mafia werewolf werewolf werewolves of um miller's hollow is another one and obviously uh resistance and avalon blood on the clock tower they're all social deduction games battlestar galactica the board game does exactly the same thing but on a big long scale which means work out who the cylon is yes Yes, a couple of your I mean, Cylons. It would make sense. That's the entire premise of Battlestar Galactica. It was so. kind of one of the early ones, but the thing about it is that as a result, you have various things that are going wrong with Battlestar Galactica, mm. and you need to go and fix the bridge. And it's so an old as fuck ship, and there, there's nowhere to take it for repairs. Yeah. So what happens then is when you try and do a task, like we need to fix things, everyone puts the cards upside down to fix things. So it's like, I'll put in 10, yeah, I'll put in 3, and then you shuffle them all up and you deal them all out and then some of them have been counter to what you're doing it's like right we needed to hit 20 and we've only hit 17 because someone put in a minus five so somebody here has fucking fucked it up so which who's put in well i told you i put in the red you know but it goes on like that so battlestar does it which means unfallible does it but um yeah mm. oh secret hitler yeah 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 the- this shit is in the seat yeah but we didn't put it there so 
we can be stubborn pricks about it. Also, it's almost been a year, so maybe we're due an amnesty where we where we take our fantastic money making idea out of the sea and put it directly in our wallets. The biggest barrier uh, to it would be resetting the mini challenges. But part of me wonders, and this is the hardest, the biggest barrier in the sense of like the computer aspect of this, mm. because if you had games on iPads or something like that, they were all in certain areas, you had to prod, you could control them over one big system because the system runs it. So once you press the button on our central computer, it just starts the game. It resets the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, but you can, um, you could easily computer program like buttons to be, switched in in however you want like yeah you just automate that shit that's super easy mm. yeah <laughs> money goes in my pocket and it's 500 pounds no <laughs> <laughs> well all right um so yeah i do think that the way it would work you build it all up and you've got fiberglass wooden fucking shit all over the place mm-hmm. but maybe you'd need to know what your because we know that I have to go and fix, I have to go and vent all the leaves from the bullshit, and you need to look in the telescope, whatever like that. You'd need a way to fucking find out what your task was. So maybe you, we all need something to, yeah. to have on us that tells us what our tasks are. And it basically says, I mean, you could just you could draw cards. And just uh, at the start of the game, you draw three cards, and that's your tasks for okay, what, however many based on the level of difficulty. I love how we're basically workshopping this live on live on guys. On if air. this is what you came for, great. <laughs> Uh, um, are we doing this before or after the flash mob wedding? <laughs> During. Um, anyway, yeah, fuck, what the fuck? It's a great, great venue so, for a wedding. Come and come and do your. Uh, what did you call it? Times in in our midst. Yeah, in our midst. In yeah. our midst. Cunts in our midst. That's what um, it'd be called. Some <laughs> challenges would be like people have to keep keep to keep watch of a thing. Yeah, I mean one one of them is you've got the video cameras, haven't you, where you can look yeah. at a certain area. So that would that would be easy to set yeah. up, like like it is super easy. <laughs> you just play giant Jenga, and when it falls over, everyone calls the loser a traitor, even though they're just shit. I'm getting the sense that Aletha doesn't like these. She these doesn't games. like any of these things. Yeah, is it because she's shit at them? Uh, she's terrible at right. them. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I mean, we we do rally against the things that we're shit at. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It makes sense. Don't be bitter, Aletha. Maybe you'll just join in. Maybe join you're in. Good at something else. Become one of us. Um. I uh, <laughs> one one of among us. One among us. Um, I have enjoyed playing them, though. In all honesty, there is a degree to which I've kind of, I'm all, I'm all deductioned out, mm. and I don't quite know what Blood on the Clock Tower is going to bring to the uh, the the thing. I I just don't know. But it is kind. Of, I find it quite hard to play these games because when I'm the traitor, I'm like, oh, shit. How do I act like a normal person? And I find that quite hard. As I've said before on this, it's like when all the traits, all the faithful. Least faithful. All the good guys are like basically able to talk, and they have. To, yeah, yeah, I totally agree. And I'm like, I am so fucking. Ob- <laughs> I don't think I'm good at kind of. Well, you when we did the uh, the murder mystery for Karis's birthday, oh, okay. and you were the the murderer, I, I felt like you did a really good job because I didn't, kind of I didn't suspect you at I all. I was trying my fucking fucking hardest at yeah. that thing. That was driving me out. The, and Duncan was like a dog with a bone. I'm like, fuck me, Duncan. <laughs> and he didn't fuck him. I didn't. And Alex won. Oh. Mm. I did. Much to all of our disappointment. I know. That was the good thing, was that I did win. But part of that was that I had to kind of like, vote, I had to work out who everyone was voting for so I could try and tie it. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. that was the only way to do it. But sometimes you can take it to overtime, Jeremy, and that's all you need to do. Yeah. But scoring overtime. But, you know, with, with you saying you're a bit kind of social deduction doubt, that's fine because we're not playing it. I know. We're just we're making just money, making from money. It and watching people fuck up and hilarious. Like, we could live stream this as well and yeah. make money on it that way. Unbelievable! Like it just, it's and then the... everyone will want to play it. Exactly, it's advertising. It's unbelievable! It's, it's Fuck the you, the Burnt City. We're coming out with something new. Yeah, in a much smaller venue in not London, so it doesn't cost us as much. And no. job done. So okay, cool. Let's end the stream now and go and talk about this. <laughs> um. <laughs> it turns out he wasn't serious, so uh, I thought we'd come back. Um, Burnt City, yes. So we started this, obviously, with our incredible masks, um, which uh, it was the last ever Burnt City yesterday, which is why we have the masks. The the final burn. Yeah. The sickest of the burns. Uh, it was, uh, you know, it's very burnt. It was the last one. Uh, I went... Uh, Aletha went, Duncan and Amy went, and about 600 other motherfuckers went. 
And um, and now it's it. Uh, you went. Oh, you went last weekend. Oh, that's really cool. What did you do? What did you enjoy? I hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, been get, getting a bit rammed ever since, but I can see it would still be cool if you'd never experienced any of it before. But yes, we we saw the end of it, and that's the end of that. And uh, now we'll see what the next one will be if they do another one. Who knows? Mm, I was going to say so that and so that's the end of that, or is it? Question mark. Um. Yes. So what they'll need in the interim is something that's going to tide all these kind of hungry. This money to these guys, right? These guys are fucking putting money after money after money after money. All we need to do is something. It will probably, you know, I reckon there's got to get that fucking punch drunk dollar. <laughs> it's got to get that dollar. So that money's going somewhere. You know how, what is it? There's a scientific principle that energy doesn't like just like dissipate. It just moves. It just goes into other things. Yeah. You know, like, Likewise, you know. money. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Money doesn't disappear. It just goes to other people. So basically, there's like, 200 loyal probably 300 loyal punch drunkites who are happy to drop 100 quid every fucking day for like two years and now that money is in their pockets they must be confused as to how they can buy groceries and shit now <laughs> but where did where did all where, this money where come did from? this money come what from the cash i didn't have this money I last this money week. before I can pay my mortgage. <laughs> Hello, credit card company. Everything's okay. Yep, no worries. Yes. Oh, yes, the burnt city ended. Yes. Um. So, and this is when Alex decided to decided to. I already know interpretive dance. Uh, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Um. So we're more about the interpretive rant here on Don't Get Me Started. Yes. We need to find something and make and take the money from the pockets of the people into our pockets. That's the best place for the money. It's one big one-to-one -one thing where everyone just gets one-to-ones all the time. There's no plot. It's just individual stories. And they make it up on the fly. So you never actually get to the end of the story because there is no story. Yeah. All improvised. And they will lap it up they will and chat it. shit about it in Facebook groups for the rest of time mm. and claim that they have sussed out the story. Yeah. And, and here's we'll... the thing. There won't be a story. Yeah. So we'll be laughing all There'll the way be no to the story. Bank. I think the reason is this, this, oh, you should read some of that fucking bullshit they say. It's like, <laughs> no, no, it's not true. That's not. Um, I think you guys should do Haters Gonna Hate through the medium of interpretive dance. <laughs> I mean, I don't even really know what interpretive dance is. So it's probably not going to happen. It's where you dance in an abstract way. I mean, but, but I, it think, means something. I think I only dance in an abstract way. I think I exclusively dance in an abstract way. Yes. Yeah, it's not quite enough space to do it here, but you know, I'm doing a little bit of it though. I like it. Mm. Um, fucking hell. Um, what I will say is that we're in the preamble section. Anything you want to talk about, Jeremy? From a kind of, we're not going to do this as happening. Although I saw some people put some stuff in there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, we we can talk about Tamsin's mischievous hedgehogs. Have you, have you seen those? In yeah, our, in one of them Discord? pushed the other hedgehog into a fucking yeah, bowl of water, it drowned incredible. it, held it under. Yeah, yeah, basically waterboarded it, which was incredible. <laughs> so go, uh, go on our Discord if you haven't seen this, exclamation Discord. Uh, I think it's just in the, is it in the Animal Friends or in the general? It's there somewhere. But yeah, Tamsin, Tamsin has a camera in the chat. Camera in her garden to watch hedgehogs, and one of the hedgehogs, Kamsinaki. is a massive bellend who <laughs> loves to just dunk on the other hedgehog. And it was it was pretty funny Literally, to see. This hedgehog's like going in just, to get some water just over happily the fuck. drinking away, happy, happy, and the other one just comes up and oiks it, just in. nudges it into the thing, and it doesn't do anything. It like curls up in a ball and just lays in the lays water. Lays in for the a bit. water. Like, I made a huge mistake. Just has an existential <laughs> crisis in the middle of a water bowl. So. Did you wake up and it was a there was a dead hedgehog, and it was just like drowned in the water or what the fuck happened there? I think it got out in the end, but I hope so. Mm. Um, I one time I was, I think I might mention this, but one time I was in Marla Road, which is where I used to live. I didn't look for it. Well, it is there, but I don't live there anymore, so I didn't give a shit. And at the <laughs> bottom of there was a garage, which is where um, my dad my dad used to rent the garage at the bottom of the road. And there was a hedgehog in the middle of the road, and it was slowly making its way across the road. But it wasn't going very fast, and that road gets cars in it. So we needed to kind of hurry it along, yeah. Well, which you couldn't <clears throat> couldn't do with your hand. Because... No, we couldn't have. We couldn't put our hand. And then it turned left and started walking down the road, i.e., towards the main road. So now it's heading towards the main road, where it will 
get killed. Definitely get squashed. But yeah. if it can make its way to the alleyway on the other side, it can probably find its way into a nice little bush or something. It'll be okay. So we all started standing in its way, basically. And we kept standing in its way, standing Doing in its way. Semaphore to a hedgehog. As and trying to, like, because we couldn't pick it up. In fact, we tried to pick it up. We didn't have anything to pick it up with. And we tried to pick it up. We couldn't. It was just too fucking prickly. So we kept standing in its way until we could make it across the road. And then someone came out and said, and had a go at us, like, you're fucking, you can't believe this animal cruelty. And they thought we were, like, hurting the hedgehog and kicking it and shit. And I'm like, and we, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's going this way. How else would you do it? And he was just like, well, no, you're, and it wouldn't have it. Wouldn't have it. No matter like the objective evidence before it. Okay. Well, now you solve it. What would you do? And there, and he was like, well, obviously you're hurting. And just kept going on. I kept repeating, repeating. And we were like, whatever, mate, fuck off. Unbelievable. So I've got All right, a, mate. It's your problem now. Enjoy watching it then, get run over. See what happens. You massive balland. He's fine. Soggy, but fine. <laughs> Drenched hedgehog. Gotta love it. Good evening, Dave. Mr. D Dog. Welcome, welcome back. Haven't been here on this channel with us. Good to see you again. Hope you're well. All the way up there in the Ford of Ash. Yeah. Where it's like here, but <clears throat> more shit, basically. Uh it's, yeah, it's um so what have you what have you got to say for yourself? What have you got to say for yourself, Jeremy? Well, I, I think I know what you're referring to. I think you're referring to my, uh, I'm not going to say fighting. That would be an incredibly <laughs> inaccurate term. My laying down and being walked over Chicago Bears. Is that? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. It wasn't a good showing. Yeah. I am irrationally angry about <laughs> my American football team at the moment. Not because they got their ass kicked. That's happened before. Um, but the fact that there seems to be no prospect whatsoever of them ever improving. And it's been a very long time. It's been a long road. It's like, even, even the fucking like, Browns have got some hope. Yeah. But, and they're, they're quarterbacked by a fucking rapist. It's like, why do they get hope and we don't? I just don't, I just don't get it. It's not fair. They need to bear down. And not only that, our misfortunes were witnessed Compounded. witnessed by a whole extra bunch of people because Taylor Swift's decided that she's going to fuck Travis Kelsey. And so there she's uh, she was at the game. She was. Enjoying the... They're just friends, Jeremy. They're just friends. Uh, I mean... I, I love being just friends. Friend, friends don't go into uh you know private boxes at american football games and shout let's fucking go when <laughs> when your friend scores mm, maybe they're more than friends they are more than friends um and actually um jarrett payton the son of walter payton um who through his media access was uh backstage or you know behind the scenes at arrowhead right uh caught the two of them leaving together even though they'd like casually got swiftly out of that box without anybody noticing they think they brought her out in a fridge which is <laughs> incredible like because the the entrance to the the sky box where taylor swift and travis kelsey's mother were um was ramoed at the end of the game people wanting to get a glimpse of taylor swift coming out of the box and uh she didn't ever come out and so it led to speculation of, well, how the fuck did she get out then? That's magic. Uh, and so the only uh, the only thing that people could pinpoint, and somebody had filmed, you know, the entire time, which was waiting for it, was a fridge with a like giant bag of popcorn had, had come out of the room and been pushed past them, and uh, they <laughs> suggest that Taylor Swift was inside the fridge. <laughs> that's incredible. Mm. I mean, I I think that's how they, you know. Or similar. That's how they get wrestlers down to hide under the ring when they need to make a surprise oh, really? like, appearance. I, I still, to this day, uh, wonder how they got uh, who was it? Edge under the ring during the Undertaker's Hell in a Cell match at SummerSlam 2008 when I was there. Oh, really? I, my, I didn't notice them put, put a person under been the ring. Been there the whole time. So maybe he has been there the whole time. I don't Just know. lay there for ages I don't even, on his phone. I don't even remember which combination of person it was. Maybe it was Undertaker under the ring. I don't know. But, but somebody... Was under the ring and then they came out and said hi and I'm like, right, 
She regular she regularly enters and exits locations inside boxes of yeah. various sizes. So I was led to believe by uh, Pat McAfee on the Pat McAfee show today. Yeah, who is all in on Taylor Swift being an NFL fan, thinking that it's going to bring swathes of of hot, attractive young female fans into the sport. I'm like, it it it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Here's mate. the thing, you know, Aletha got into it before Taylor Swift, so like I don't know whether Taylor and now Swift's... she's like. Worlds colliding. I know. Mm. I don't know if Taylor, her learning that Taylor Swift had been cited at a game would have been enough to convert Aletha externally to her. You know, if she didn't already, if she wasn't already interested the, in yeah. the NFL, yeah. Only you can ask that. Answer that. Aletha. I mean, maybe would, not. Would her maybe not. There? You know, international Swifties. But I think it might bring in domestic a few, Swifties. A few domestic Swifties. Yeah. Has she ever yeah. played the halftime show? Not the halftime show, but she's played at Arrowhead. She sold out, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs Stadium huh. twice. I heard that maybe they'd have the Killers for the halftime show because it's at Allegiant and that's Las Vegas. They, no, they announced the the halftime show yesterday. It's, oh, it's Usher. Oh, fuck off! No. And that's what Twitter said too, or X. And uh, Usher. Yeah. Who the fuck is Usher? Usher. What the fuck is it like? 2012 was what the fuck usher <laughs> this is where i would make a joke using one of usher's you know song titles but i don't know any no of i can't do it usher 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 what does it what, what's an usher song can somebody name an usher song anyone no can i just look one up and see if i can make a joke dust <laughs> dust <laughs> yeah i don't know any usher songs hold on i'm sure i, I know think one. i heard an usher song i was like this is this is shit Let's not listen to Usher this songs. Again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah is he yeah. the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that. Of course it is. Still none the wiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is Usher's biggest hit? <laughs> yeah. Club banger, yeah. <laughs> um, that's how it goes. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me talk to you. <laughs> uh, I thought an usher was at a wedding. I was an usher at a wedding. Yeah, me too. I wasn't usher. I wasn't like uh, you know usher. No, mainly because I forgot what my songs were, so I couldn't be usher. Mm. But I was an usher. You know, much like uh, Tom, Tom's uh, an undertaker from Boise, <laughs> so Idaho. Funny. I wasn't the usher. I was an usher. And Usher, oh man, trust me, that <laughs> those that joke. Will, this is coming. It's happening. Just wait for until the, for the BCW Super Bowl edition. Stone Cold Jane Austen. <laughs> oh Jesus, that was so funny. Ah, uh, I dread to think what goes on in that man's head. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's so good. He uh, he'll probably be back for Christmas, so expect a BCW over Christmas. I would imagine. BC Dub for Christmas. Coming back, Christmas episode. Um, yeah. So what the fuck? Not the killers? I mean, I'm not like crazy about the killers, but they would be incredible to watch. Just, that seems like a really good Super Bowl. Usher, why is the why is the thing about rap like last year? It was um, Dre and like Missy Elliott and Slim Shady and stuff like that. And like, there's this thing. I know there's another one not so long ago. I think they had like The Weekend, who's kind of like R and B or like whatever. So I don't know what this desire is to move away from rock. Because when they have the Red Hot Chili Peppers, it all goes fucking crazy. I think it's because they used to have a, a guy that did rock do the theme for Monday Night Football, and he turned out to be a massive racist. They've got a new so guy now, now. So now they just stay away from, you know, white people in general. And that's probably a good idea. Why would Taylor Swift play an unpaid Super Bowl show, which I'm sure they get paid, do they not? When she can sell out the whole stadium to people who want to see her rather than people who want to want Usher. Nobody wants Usher. No, nobody Just... wants Usher. Let's get that right. But I mean, I think if you play, I think, I don't know, I can't speak for Taylor Swift, but I would imagine if you're a big time artist, one of these things is playing the halftime show and getting it to be, you, you Yeah, know, you would think that that is a, kind of a big deal, that's really. That's an accolade that you would want to They have don't get paid for halftime. No, they, oh, okay. they do not get paid. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. The, uh, the dancers, nobody gets paid for the halftime show. It's sure, a huge okay. racket. Considering all the money that they make for the Super Bowl is I a huge. I feel like racket. the killers are a good. The killers are really good. Like, yeah, for like Super Bowl thirty-eight, fifteen years ago. Well, I mean, 
they didn't play 15 years ago. So now, I mean, they what did. I'm saying is... We're old, Alex. They did, they did play 15 years ago. Oh, did they? <laughs> they didn't do the Super Bowl, but that's when they were about. Oh, I see what you mean. That was but, where they were in the like, height of their popularity. I really feel like... I mean, it's basically a Las Vegas connection. That's all. That's only why I picked it. If they were in playing in fucking yeah, Chicago, I wouldn't it, think about it. It blows my mind every time that people tell me that Las Vegas, um, the killers are from Las Vegas, because I always thought they were British. <laughs> yeah, right? And actually, when they first came out, I thought they were British, because yeah. I thought he was a British guy. But like, I really feel that having seen them, they're such a kind of act, they're such a real kind of like, there's so much charisma on stage on that, on that, on that band. I just think it all just connects together. They've got a lot of bangers that people are going to really sing along to. So... Breaking I don't my back get it. Just to call your name. The killer is amazing. Like they really are. I mean, let's not get too excited. They were. What I have think... they done for us lately? Well, I mean, they don't need to do anything lately. They got Mr. Brightside. Just bang that one out. I mean, I don't. I'm not like a massive uh, killers apologist. I'm just saying. Name six killers songs. Okay, Mr. Brightside. Um, somebody told me. Okay, now is where it gets difficult. Um, all these things that I've done. Uh, I can do another one. I can definitely do another one. I can't do another one. But um, come back to me later and I'll remember it. But that's not my point, right? Because I'm not a It's my fan. point and I've just made it expertly. Well, I don't know what you mean because, like, would you rather have Usher? Oh, No. I just, I would just rather they didn't have a halftime show and they just got the fuck back on with the game. I would like, I like you. a show, but I'm saying like, like, let's just do some adverts and get the fuck back on with it. Oh, human, yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, thing yeah. is like superfluous cool, and there's no know. need, no need for it. But no like, need for the halftime show. Do you don't think? No, I think so. I like having something. Stick to football, Shafter. There's no need. <laughs> but uh, when I think about the halftime shows that I've enjoyed, I just. The bands I like, you know, I just don't want to listen to Usher. I didn't want to listen to Rihanna. I didn't want to listen to The Weeknd. I think Bruno Mars might be the last thing I actually enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, I could probably list... All, I've been watching the NFL for a very long time now, and I could probably list all of the halftime shows, or the acts in halftime shows, because sometimes there are multiple, mm. that I liked on one hand. And it's, as you say, Bruno Mars... Um, Katy Perry, she yeah. was all right. I really quite enjoyed Katy Riding Perry. Riding in on the tiger. Um, yeah, I thought that, by the way, I thought that looked amazing. Maybe I, mean, I can count it on <laughs> two. two fingers. I mean, the Red Hot Chili Peppers turned up for Bruno Mars. I don't know whether you care about them, but they were pretty good. I, I mean, I do care about the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I didn't care for them in that show. I didn't think that they... But I've got to your point, I mean, it's been a while since I really went crazy for... I mean, when Prince was in it, but that was fucking years ago. Mm, you know? That was a long time ago. I don't think anyone's really getting these big time Bruce Springsteen. We're not getting, that's what I'm saying. We're not yeah, getting we had like, like, had like Tom Petty, didn't we? And... Yeah, Tom Petty is my favorite. Yeah. Left Shark. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just find it all a bit rushed and phoned in and all a bit nonsense. And it's just, just can we just not? What would they do instead? Just sit around and just talk about it? Just watch the adverts. Like, just watch the adverts on on the screen in the stadium People love the the adverts during the Super Bowl anyway, because the first time they're on, and just yeah, and then just get on, get back on with the game after ten minutes instead of thirty, like you normally do. Guns and Roses would do. It. I bet you they have done. It feels like they have, but at the same time, I don't remember them doing it. But then I've only really been watching it since like two thousand and three, and I don't remember them doing it in that time. But I don't think they'd look so good now. But that's what I mean. It I feels like there should be something that's regardless of what their discography might be recently. Because let's face it, it's not like half these guys have actually put something out. Like Coldplay, when they did it, they were just like, they were off the back slightly mm. by a few years of like Adventure of a Lifetime. But I, like, it doesn't matter what they've done recently. They, the crowd are going to know enough stuff. I think a lot of the, like the, the special attractions for like Thanksgiving in the International Series have been way better. Like um, Train did one of the London games and that was really good. That would be cool. That was really good. Um, oh, I've forgotten the guy's name. But it was... It was a person I wasn't expecting to enjoy and really enjoyed, who's is just a a British London rapper. Is it Westwood? That 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 makes all of the music himself using loop pedals. Oh, okay. So just like makes a noise into the mic, records it, and loops the whole thing. Can't remember his name. The Beardy Man? Is that a oh, thing? Oh, Beardy Man. Beardy Man is a thing. Yeah. And I was like, this, like, when it was described to me and then I saw a little bit, I was like, this is dog shit, man. What the fuck? 
And then he started doing it. I was like, all oh, right, actually, all cool. right, okay, I can get on board with this. Did this we is see? Fun. Did we see like Little Mix one time? I swear I went. To, I saw a Little Mix play when at like a London International Pro- probably beginning show. Yeah. yeah. Well, who the fuck is Little Mix? Yeah. Um, and then who was uh, there? Was another like talking about this London so- rap band. I again, I would never be able to name who they were, but that they just had a really catchy song. It was like. I ride this motherfucking beat like a tractor. I ride this motherfucking beat like a train. And I'm like, okay, cool. You ride, motherfuckers. Get on down with it. I think um, I remember it might have been the the episode when we came back after to NFL after uh, lockdown. COVID. Yeah, like I think the first opening game was at was at Allegiant, and the Killers played the halftime of the opening show. And I'm like, I get it, because like they live there and shit. I'm surprised. I'm just surprised. I thought I thought I would have thought they would have. They probably that. told the NFL to fuck off. Yeah, maybe they did. Maybe they. You're gonna pay us? No. no. All right, fuck you then. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Go and fuck yourselves, NFL. That's what I think to that. Yeah. I mean, there must be loads of bands out there that. There are plenty of bands that do would, it who are probably would want to do it down. and would be willing and or, or not willing and turn it down. Yeah. Yeah. It does seem like Usher was probably quite low on the list. Doesn't it feel like that he wasn't first choice? Absolutely. That is not a first choice. He must know he's not is, first is choice. Is Usher anybody's first Usher choice? Usher can't be. What choice is that on your list? 18? How many people would you pick? Even, I mean, even if you, they're killers. Even if you had to narrow it down to just from the R&B genre, right? Like if Lil had, Nas X? If you had to pick somebody in the R&B genre, who would it be? And why wouldn't it be Usher? Where would Usher be on that list? I don't think he makes people's top 10. No. I mean, talk about people who don't have a back. I can't. We couldn't name anything. No. Except for, yeah, we probably would have got to. Yeah. I did see a, a tweet today of, of Usher apologists. And it's like, what are they teaching in schools saying that Usher didn't have any hits? And they do a screenshot of like, that he, he's like had 32 like top 40 hits or something. I'm like, what are they teaching in school? Who gives a shit, man? It's what Usher. He's, he's crap. <laughs> Fucking Usher. Usher. Usher's not helping the halftime show continue. No. Who's like the biggest rock band currently? Who's I can't name them, but like you'd imagine that someone like Imagine Dragons would be better at halftime, right? Yeah. Did they not get Imagine Dragons must be higher on that list? Absolutely. Right? They would have asked like <laughs> Imagine Dragons. They must have done. Can somebody name anybody? Who's better than Usher? Who's better? What's what's the number one band in the Who world? Who better than Usher? <laughs> Who? What's the number one band in the country in the world right now? I don't know about right now, but there are plenty of even in the of, last ten years. I mean, like yeah, I was gonna say, Imagine Dragons definitely would be would, would be, be way up there. I don't know. I mean, the- Guns N' Roses, as you said, Metallica. Metallica haven't fucking done a halftime Meta- show. Metallica seem like no. I really want an American kind of like rock coming at me. You know, not necessarily American. Of the Rolling Stones? The then? National. <laughs> the fucking man. I think the Rolling Stones have. I don't yeah. know. Can someone check that? Rolling Stones? I feel like they well, have. Well, all right. <laughs> Foo Fighters. They'd be amazing. Yeah. Foo Fighters. That's what I'm talking about. Let's start talking about this. Come on. Let's call up Roger Goodell and say, guys, 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 seriously. Come on. We sol- solved this. But the National. <laughs> Look, I, we can clearly see that you're scraping the barrel here. You, you chose Usher after all. Had you considered this list of 379 artists... <laughs> That are probably better than Usher. I think I'd rather see Usher than the National. I mean, I think we may have hit the, a new low there. Joe. I think I'd rather see your left big toe perform at the Super Bowl before Usher. If I'm being <laughs> quite honest, about I reckon it. I could perform better. And, and feet are wrong. They are. I feel like the Stones have. I feel like the Stones have because mm. I think it's one of these things I would have not watched. It's like the Who. <laughs> I think played. They, oh they, yeah, they love to get the Who. The Who. Out. The Who were were okay. They weren't, but they weren't spectacular. I mean, they play Who Are You? And everyone's like, oh my God, I know this because it's like who on that thing. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Um, 2006, huh? So. I, I now feel like I want to name. Oh, I, ah, yeah, that's why I don't remember. 2006. I had already killed myself by then because uh, that was the Bears cult Super Bowl in which the Bears went down very quickly. Ah. Uh. So by halftime, I was like, fuck. This and I died. Fallout Boy is still going. Fallout I... Boy would be way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring back Shania Twain and no doubt, no doubt. 
I just think that maybe you could have a kind of like Bat Street Boys, like some sort, you could do a, a big Scar kind of like Scar Punk kind of stuff and you could bring out a lot of kind of stuff all in one like. Yeah, of... they should just do genres instead. Yeah. And just bring in like, right, we're doing uh, we're doing boy bands this year. Yeah. Who, and it just who wants all in? The, who Busted? Wants it? Busted, yeah. you in? All right, come yeah, on yeah, down. Yeah. yeah. Five. Five. Yeah. Okay, come on now. Five have got to get down. Yeah. Like only only three out of five. Okay, fine. If you're getting down, baby, I want it now, baby. Um, Interesting. That that's the the five song you went with. I it's because you said, "Come on down," basically. Right, so okay. it broke me into. Mm. I want it now, baby. That would be brilliant. Everyone would love that shit. Mm. I, I I did see that five five have five will make reformed, down. um, but there's not five of them anymore. No. So, like, I do feel like you you can't be a band called five unless there's five of you i think they have to get two more people uh, in you're gonna break the I'll space time five. continuum yeah take yeah. one for the team and, yeah. and join five i'll join five fair enough they need yeah 2000s was themed around epcot yeah that's in my memory somewhere it's like what the fuck is epcot it's the uh the kind of big golf ball thing that's at, uh disney world in florida disneyland in florida i think it is how the fuck do you theme anything around that they did it they does, did it. Does everyone just come out wearing like flat caps and? and I just... honestly couldn't tell you what the Epcot stands Themed for. around something. Epcot. Yeah, Epcot is like a kind of scientific, interesting kind of like museum-y fun place for kids to go. You know, for kids. It kind of hurts my brain actually. Sure Do you not know that. about Epcot? I mean, I'm not saying that I know any more. No, but... no, no. I've I know nothing about Epcot, and I'm not even being a facetious twat like I normally am. I've, it stands I've for got something. Nothing. It's like. Something. Um, it sounds like the kind of thing that Harmstone would know in a quiz. Like, what does Epcot stand for? And even not, he's furiously googling it to make sure we know that he doesn't. Eccentric know. penises, obviously. I don't know, see first. Eccentric penises can. can't can obviously twerk twat twerk <laughs> twerk works better. I like that. Experimental prototype community of tomorrow. It's the world of tomorrow. <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> I do know it. I love. Of course you do. Of now listen. Do. Of course you do. You've told me many things about Epcot. I still don't know a fucking thing about Epcot. It's an experimental this... prototype community of tomorrow. Oh yeah, that explains everything. It's yeah, like tomorrow's thank you for that. world, Jeremy. Do you remember the tomorrow's program? world today? It's gonna. It's like telling you about the future, Jeremy, and everything that might happen in the future. I love. I love tomorrow's world. It had um, Philippa Forrester on it, and she was fit. Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. I wonder what she looks like now. Probably less fit, but still fit, I would suggest. She used to do Robot Wars as well. Robot Wars! Don't, uh, uh, you don't need to tell me about Philippa Forrester, <laughs> mate. I was Many like, a wank was had. I was like 14 in the height of Philippa Forrester. You don't need to tell me about <laughs> Philippa Forrester. Uh. <laughs> and on that note, should we move the fuck on? Yeah, let's get to... <laughs> Before I get myself in trouble. Shit. But yeah, I, how long, It was a good preamble. Oh, Only 53 nice. minutes. Oh my god. Yeah. Hope you're enjoying yeah. this shit. This is what we do. Mm. So so far, we've managed to not pick a new song, a new band for the halftime show, and I don't remember what the rest of it was all about. Let's just go with your your big toe and be done with it. Hundred mm. percent. Let's go and do a new a new segment, another segment, not a new segment. The next segment. It's not speak. new. We've done it it's before, and we'll do it again. Damn it! It's existing. It's today. I fucked up. It was at this moment that Nathan knew. He fucked up. It was at this moment. Robot ears. Stand by. That Nathan knew. He fucked up. <laughs> this is the segment where we look at um fucking shit from <laughs> the internet. That's his tradition. My son. Um That's how long we've been we've been preambling. Harmstone's got a grown ass son now. <laughs> and he's named him Nathan in honor of this segment. Yes, today I fucked up is a segment in which we read a story that somebody has told on the internet about how they have fucked something up. The clue is in the name, unless you're really stupid, which you you might be. Uh, you could be a, a member of the Australian Traitors cast or a member of the uh, Super Bowl halftime show selection committee. <laughs> Shall I go first, being as uh, as you're not quite ready? I want a drink. I want a drink. Drink. Yeah, who's that? Uh, oh, it, they could do the halftime show. Yeah, I almost like, said it, but I can't remember. Mm. It, 
but um, it's come out of my brain. Um, oh, that's going to annoy me. Mm, it's gonna don't annoy say it, me don't too. say it, don't say it. I'm going to get it. It's then not Def Leppard, it's no, the it's other not, one. No, no, Motley no, no. Crue? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nailed it. There you go. You got it. You can yeah. say it now. Uh, okay. What Was I saying something else or am I just doing this? Doing it. Okay, great. Today I fucked up by linking my mom's game to my stupid email address and now she's going to kill me. The fuck? My mom's game? Yeah. Today I fucked up. I'll, I'll anglicize it for you. Today I fucked up by linking my mom's game to my stupid email address and now she's going to kill me. I think I need more information. Luckily, I have some context that I can provide through the medium of reading. Lay it on us. This actually happened today. <laughs> nice. Though it was set in motion two years ago. Uh-huh. So my mum is a die-hard heyday addict. Okay. That's heyday? A, it's a game. It's a game. Mm. She's been cultivating virtual crops and managing her digital farm for six whole years you now. You fucking idiot. <laughs> heyday. <laughs> Oh, parents love this shit. Yeah. Mums love Candy Crush. My my mum loves Candy Crush. There you go. Like, proof of proof be of proof be needs be. My mum is pretty high ranked in the world on Candy Crush. Shit me. Yeah, yeah. Candy Crush. Uh, yeah. Doesn't Kay play Candy Crush? Yeah, she's not as good as my mum though. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> boom! Look at that roasted. <laughs> she used to be. Remember those? Kay's like I could have been a contender. I remember I remember those crazy days of Candy Crush. And then she got a fucking dog. In at the ground floor. Now you can't Candy Crush when you got a dog. Fucking time sink, mate. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Fancy creating a pretend farm. <laughs> 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 nice. Okay, fair play, Burn. <laughs> this, uh, this comes up as well because um, in the DGMS rerun last Friday, uh, you were forced to hate is going to hate on Stardew Valley oh, Stardew as you Valley were in the amazing. height of your Stardew Valley. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I will say, if there's any um, distinction, is that Heyday, which is probably like Farmville, is one of these stupid fucking Facebook games and is shit, whereas Stardew is like incredible. So, I mean, QED, motherfuckers. That's not what you said on the rerun last week. Available on I? YouTube if anyone wants to. What did to. I say? So, well, you have to go and, go and watch the rerun, won't you? I don't give a fuck about past Alex. He's a cunt. Present Alex is the only good one. Present Alex is much better, to be fair. But anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the story. You asked for context, and I'm determined to give it to you. Go on, then. Uh, she's been cultivating virtual crops and managing her digital farm for six whole years now. She even has a dedicated group of friends who share her farming passion, complete with a group chat for challenges and whatnot. She wakes up early some days to get her hands on East Asian players' market time. You could say it's become a bit of an addiction, but it's also her primary stress reliever in her super busy life. She's not that busy. She's playing fucking heyday. Jesus. Here's where the colossal screw-up comes into play. A couple of years ago, Heyday implemented a policy change that required linking an email account to the game. My mum despises dealing with this tech-related stuff, so she passed the job on to me. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Well, in my infinite wisdom, I decided to link the game to my email account, the one I use for random free trials and who knows what else. Mm. I have absolutely no idea why I didn't use her email. Yeah, I'm confused as that uh, to that as well, actually. But hindsight is twenty twenty. Fuck off, mate. Just what the fuck is wrong? Anyway, carry on. <laughs> Alex is already out. So. Just yeah, you things. fucked up. Fuck you. You need to do it. To, why? If anyone asks, it, I'm out, your mum said, I can't deal with this. Can you? Yeah. Okay, what's your email? I mean, how different? It's like, I don't. I'll put it on my email. Why the fuck would you do that? Jesus Christ. Handy dandy. Yeah, fucking right. Fast forward to today. Please. At least a few days ago. Okay. And the heyday apocalypse occurs. <laughs> my mum gets mysteriously logged out and the game promptly sends an email to the linked account. My account. The earth beneath me crumbled as I realised I can't remember the password. Yep. Why? Because I don't use it. I haven't used that email since the ill-fated Heyday account linking incident back in 2021. So apparently hindsight is 2021, not Boom, 2020. Boom! Roasted. Now, I'm living on an entirely different continent from my mother. Probably for the best. And I've hardly been getting any sleep. She's absolutely furious. <laughs> 
and I'm pretty much preparing for my own funeral at this point. I feel terrible for her, but I also can't help but lament my past clueless self. Yeah, let, I'm worried about her, but I'm more worried about thinking about myself yeah. I'm... and the past mistakes I've made. Acropolypse, boom. When I uh, look back on the, the mistakes of my life, uh, this this is going to rate pretty highly on them. <laughs> the thing I think about all these things that I've done, mm. uh, not, a killer song, as we all know. Not the uh, not the you know the one that got away, the the high school romance that I probably should have pursued in, mm. instead of you know going and playing the field. Not the investment that I didn't make that uh, turned out to be Apple and made everyone else a billion dollars. No, no it's uh, linking my mother's heyday account to an email address I don't use. That's that's your it's biggest my, regret. My one, one and only biggest <sighs> regret. So now she can't get that shit back because she can't explain to them what the fuck is going on. So she can't get any of her stuff. So she can't log in. She can't play it. Mm. Oh my God. That might well be the biggest fuck up ever. Because I know I was taking the piss out of it. But she obviously really enjoyed doing that. Just start again. Fuck off. Start again. It's a game. It's a game. I don't care how much you've invested into it. You'll probably enjoy starting again and, yeah. doing, and doing it all over yeah, again. Yeah, do it all over again. You've probably It's probably just like an automated kind of, all right, now I've got to do the crops and do the thing. and just It's probably just a routine at this point. Mm. Now you can enjoy playing it from the start and realizing that it's probably a shit game and you should do something else. Play Stardew instead. That ain't it either. Stardew's, well, I don't play it anymore, but I mean, I got married and then that was the point anymore. And everybody, all the women in Stardew Valley were not happy when I got married. By the way, I actually think you can actually propose to everyone. And if you propose to everyone, you can kind of, they all fucking hate you and shit. I never did that. That would be quite fun. Get, every, get, em, gay, get engaged to everyone in Pelican Town. Fucking brilliant. So here I am Is sharing. Still done? No, it's still, still not done. Oh, fuck me. So here I am sharing this monumental screw up and hoping for some advice. A miracle. Or at least a virtual shoulder to cry on. How do I navigate this digital disaster, good alliteration, and save my mom's cherished heyday farm? TLDR, I linked my mom's heyday account to my email years ago, and I can't remember the password. She's livid, and I am preparing for the worst. Yeah, you did fuck up, actually. Mm. And I believe it's all true. It's I believe all it's too true. reasonable. It's, it's so inane and who gives a fuck that why would you make this up? Reset the password. No, that's the problem. He's the password reset goes to an email address that he doesn't know the thing for. I mean, you mean reset the email password? I suppose you that's could. Possible. You could possibly do that. But mm. That's a yeah. That is an easy solution. It's just kind of solved it in one there. I had to start start you again. It was nice. Got me a river farm instead of a regular farm, and got engaged to everyone that still live with Crobus. <laughs> nice. You I, absolutely um, did re restart Stardew Valley after watching that rerun on Friday, didn't you, Tamsin? Unbelievable. So what did happen in this re rerun? Of, well, I talk about Stardew. Uh, yeah, it was at the time where you had just started playing and streaming Stardew. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, about that. and you were so relentlessly happy about oh, it, it so much fun. that we, we, the people, decided uh, to make you haters going to hate on it. And oh. you did so expertly, pointing out all of the actual reasons that it's shit. shit. Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't know what I'd do for that now, actually. Yeah. Maybe remember. we'll find out. Maybe we, we we will. I don't know. I honestly <laughs> don't know what I could say. I bet you I could come up with a couple of things actually. But it is such a lovely game. Do you know the guys who making that who made that are making another one called like the Haunted Chocolatier or something like that? And it's basically I don't know when that's coming out, but it's another kind of wander around do shit, but it's a big chocolate factory. So. Moon mist, riverbed. I don't know. I don't. Are you saying what's similar to a valley? Yes, I see what you're doing. Um, I haven't played it for ages, mainly because I'm playing other shit now. But uh, I think I feel bad for that guy. But listen, you gotta just you gotta I mean, think it's not, ahead. It's not the worst fuck up. No, I mean it's not like you booked Usher listen, for a half time show or something. She may have. She didn't want to bother doing it, and it fucked up. She's yeah. only got herself to blame. Yeah, maybe if you'd have engaged with the thing in the first place, then you wouldn't have this problem. You've asked somebody else to do something for you, and then they've used something, and then they don't have an investment in it. You should have known. 
Do it yourself. He yeah. wants that done. Do it yourself. It's, it's your not fault. his fucking problem. It's your fucking problem. Who doesn't like ghostly sweets? Somebody look it up. I think it's the haunted chocolate here. Um, it it looks really cool, but I don't know where we are in the in the process. I would definitely play it. Yes, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Today I fucked up. Yeah, you did. By taking my pregnant partner's constipation medication. She. She. Clay Davis. Um, uh, 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 uh. Today I fucked up by taking my pregnant partner's constipation medication. It's a lot of plosive sounds. I know. Pregnant partner's constipation. Patient. Um, a spiteful pregnancy test turned into quite a surprise. A, a spiteful. <laughs> Is this the start of like a, a local news article? A spiteful pregnancy test turned sour today <laughs> as a man shit himself on a bus. <laughs> Film at 11. Um, a spiteful pregnancy test. Fucking. Just fucking take it. Take it. Shove it up here. Go on. Spiteful. Um, that's not how you use it. I don't care. I hate you. I hate you. That's how spiteful it is. Um, I honestly don't know what a spiteful pregnancy test is. I did is. wonder that. Is it just they didn't want to be pregnant and they were pregnant? I think that's the... You take a test out of spite. That's what they're saying here. You're like, Do you know what? Fuck you. I'm taking a test. I'll show you I'm not pregnant. I'll show here. you. Here, see? Hey, it's on a stick. This. There you go. Oh, oh, motherfucker. Fuck. How is it spiteful? That's the first three words of this. And we're still no clearer. I feel like don't take anything from a pregnant partner should be a rule for life anyway. I mean, oh, I'm having this milk. I mean, don't take anybody else's medication, regardless of what it is, is probably a good idea. It's not for you. Um, <laughs> doesn't bode well for the future of their relationship. Welcome in, Dom. Good to see you. Um, I'm taking a pregnant pregnancy test. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're fucking not. I'm going to fucking take one. You can't stop me taking one. I take one when you're not looking. Which is probably when you should take one. It'd be weird otherwise. I'm going to piss on it right now in front of you. In the hallway, just like that woman Staring did. Staring you dead in the <laughs> eye. <laughs> not, he's not the South African master chef judge. You don't know that. Yeah. Doesn't say that, does doesn't it? Say, it doesn't say doesn't that. Say it's true. It's I made a jump. I made an error. Yeah. Of, uh, don't, don't assume my master <laughs> chef judge. It's 2023. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um... The spiteful pregnancy test turned into quite a surprise when we found out my M25 partner F22 partner was pregnant and seven months along. <laughs> I think you probably had other clues other than the pregnancy test at <laughs> seven months. I along. took a pregnancy test. <laughs> I thought my what my partner just got a bit fat, so I, I called her out, out on being fat and told her to stop eating that fucking pie. And she said, "Well, maybe I'm pregnant, cunt. Why don't we try a test? That's why it's spiteful. We've got to the bottom of it." He called her fat. She's not fat. She's pregnant. I'm not spiteful fat. pregnancy test. I think we've nailed that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gender genders of all genders. If. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They didn't know for seven months. Seven months. I mean, I've seen like TLC or Discovery or whatever the fuck. There are some people that don't know they're pregnant until they drop it in the toilet when Fucking taking hell. a particularly. It happens. Does heavy it happen? Shit. I mean, it does happen it because does happen. fucking it's, that's it it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Because people exist, so you know, a spiteful pregnancy test. Still confused. Turned into quite a surprise when we found out that my M25 partner, F22, was pregnant. And seven months along. <laughs> Four tests and seven months ago. <laughs> but that's a story for another time. <laughs> oh, I beg to differ. You should fucking stop right now. Thank you very much. And uh, tell us what the fuck is going on. Stop right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I need it. more context to this bullshit stuff. <laughs> uh -uh -uh. Um, on we bloodily stagger. Um, anyways, her obgin, O B G Y N. The child is an obgin. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a gynecologist in America. Okay. Her Do doctor that looks at cunts. Ah. Not like you. I mean, <laughs> vaginas and labias and shit. 
Um, so it's O B G Y N. Mm. I don't say Obgin. You can say Obgin if you want. It sounds like you should say Obgin. My Obgin. I went to my Obgin the other day. Anyways, maybe you have to be like a a twelve year old London boy to say Obgin. Obgin. Here, Obgin. <laughs> Do you want to buy a paper? Here, Obgin. Anyways, obstetrics and gynecology. All right, Dom, you'd have to make up words. I already explained it. Obgin. We're all saying Obgin. Obgin is also a D&D class. <laughs> I'm going to roll up an Obgin. Are they a bunch of cunts? Oh, yeah, massive cunt. And everyone hates them. And wherever you go in the world of uh, Faerun, everyone just fucking... Oh, my God, not this motherfucker. Man, Obgin. D- D&D sounds massively sexist now. <laughs> They've changed all that. Everything's fine. It's no longer racist. I play a drow in the current... A drow? A drow. It's a dark Do they... Elf. Do they pick these names just by throwing darts at a dictionary or something? Well, I mean, if they did it, they did it a long time ago. But drow, drows are elves that live underground and they're evil cunts. And they live underground and they kill each other and they fucking hate each other. Drow And they hate other elves. It's an elf that lives underground. Yes, it's a dark elf. And it shies away from the night, from the night, from the daylight. Likes the night. Doesn't like, it doesn't go on the surface, except one day, one of them did. And he's not evil. Oh my god. Anyway, but most of them are evil. Uh, so I'm trying to be as much of a cunt as possible. <laughs> but <laughs> spider elves! Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, they live underground and they're brought up from a very young age to want to kill all the other people that they know. They're trained in combat and they like to fuck up other people's households. They're on houses, basically. A big matriarchal society. And all they do all day is kill each other and hate each other. And you can play as this. <laughs> you can play. Oh, I am one. That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, Alex, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you play a drow in D&D. You're in Teutonia. Come on. The early noughties called and want their edgelord role player back. It's possibly one of the best things I've ever heard you say. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I was really putting two and two together with that one, Dom. Uh, you make a very good point. Well done. <laughs> uh, Obgin all over the world. <laughs> We're not getting through. I love it. I love it. You guys are amazing. It's not racist. Now, here's a group of el- a race of elves who are all evil. And black, by the way. Uh, ooh, yeah. Right, that's mm. the point, right? So they changed I mean, it. Can, I mean, they're, un- yeah, they're, they they're underground. underground. They were black. They should, ball. they should be super fucking white if they live underground. They don't get any sun. Do you know what? They didn't look into that. So that is racist, because why Why would they be black? That makes no sense. That's Orinoco. Orinoco is a womble. Yeah, it's from the mm. from mm-hmm. the Harmstone's mm-hmm. comment. Pretty sure that's mm-hmm. a womble. Anyway, so they changed them. Now they're blue. Well, my one is blue. That you can be, be lots of different... You can have like violets and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if they were green, they would die. I... <laughs> Um, yes, so I'm a drow. Underground, overground. not overground. <laughs> Obginning free. Obginning free. The Obgins of underground. <laughs> Obgin. Are oh, we. we. <laughs> I want to be an Obgin. They evolve for better stealth. They're very, uh, very sneaky, sir. I'm very sneaky. Moles aren't white. That's true. Moles aren't white. Moles aren't people. Oh, shit, we've got red. I hope that's. No, we might not crash again. Here we go. Way too fast. So I don't. And by the way, I don't know when I was spinning through the. You can randomize it as you can with all these things. I just randomly rolled into drow and went drow. I can be a drow. I want to be a drow. I love drisk because lol lol lol. Anyway, so listen. Those certainly were words. You can take the boy out of the ground, uh, dragon. But he's probably <laughs> still dead, and you should put him back. Yeah, work that out yourself. But I still love drisk. God damn it. Anyway, I think where there was a story here somewhere. No, we're talking about Obgins. Um. Anyways, her uh, Obgin. Do you remember that woman that didn't know she was pregnant? That's what this story is about. <laughs> Do you remember her way back in the days before we talked about something better? Um. Anyways, her. You don't like fancy, do you? So you don't. There's no wonder you don't know anything about. I haven't got a fucking clue about any of this. Dark, no, I'd no. love you to play Dungeons and Dragons. I know you won't, but I really want you to because I just want you to do these things. But. Um, anyway, I will carry on. I promise. I'm going to get to this end of this sentence. Anyway, so Obgin put her on iron and blood pressure medication, a 
and gave her stool softeners because constipation could be a side effect of the medications they gave her. That's a cruel joke. What if she wants to sit down? I know. The like, stool will just give out underneath her. Like, that's really cruel. He is cruel. What a shit doctor. Terrible. No wonder he's an Obgin. He's a fucking Obgin. Not an OBGYN. <laughs> Obgin. Well, I felt a little backed up the day before yesterday. I usually struggle in the bathroom, if we're being honest. Really? So I decided, what's the harm in taking a pregnancy strength stool softener? Ah, yes. The question on all of our minds. He felt like he needed to soften his stool, so he used his pregnant girlfriend's stool softening medication. Stands to reason, yeah. Um, what could go wrong? A lot of harm, actually. Well, <laughs> do you know what? You didn't probably need that sentence, and we would have guessed, but anyway. So nothing happened that night. Thought they were a fluke and went to bed. I woke up and was fine for a while, ready to tackle the day. Until a fever hit and I started sweating. Fever. In the morning, which is when he had the problem. Fever when you need a shit. <laughs> well, you see, it's fever all through the night. So you could have gone with fever when I need a shite or something like that. I'm just, saying, just suggesting ideas. You know. Fever in the morning. Fever when you need a shite. I'm giving me fever. <laughs> um, started shivering. I felt like I was encroaching on Death's doorstep. Yeah, really, kind of like coming into his own in the kind of in the prose. So here. I haven't reddited this enough yet. I've got to write like it's Reddit. In. I feel like I was encroaching on Death's doorstep. Um, my stomach rumbled, and as a construction worker who was thankful there was a working bathroom on my job site, I had started a vicious cycle of expelling my immune system. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. It happened 15 times before I went on lunch. 15, 15 times. On the way home, I had to stop twice to use a bathroom. Even after I'd stopped shitting my brains out, I felt like a soldier coming home from war. Yeah, notorious for having to shit a lot, our soldiers. The similes in this aren't holding up. <laughs> I have to say. Yeah, this is this is not... The metaphors are a little bit... Um, shitty, for lack of a better term. Even after I stopped shitting my brains out, I felt like a soldier coming home from war. I'm pretty sure my arsehole is destroyed. I think I'm coming down sick because my entire immune system has left me. It looks like a week of pedialyte and crackers for me. Do you know what? I don't know what you're talking about, mate. I think <laughs> I think a pedialyte is a creature that also lives in the underbar. Oh, fucking here we go. Like a troglodyte. A pedialyte? I, if I was a drow, I'd kill all the pedialites. They don't like them. Anything that isn't a drow gets fucking murdered down there. I am Archer, leader <laughs> of the Gorgonites. <laughs> At some point, you stop counting. Fake. That is not how immune systems work. I know, right? No, says, can I you not shit out your immune system? Shit out. Could, could we get a citation on that, science? Anyone? Imodium and rice cakes. TLDR. I took my wife's pregnancy strength stool softeners, shitted out my entire immune system, and now I'm coming down sick. Huh. Well, do you know what? I mean... You get what you get, really. You get what you give, in the words of the New Radicals. Um, don't give up. You've got a reason to live. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. I have to say, the best thing about this was us saying Obgin and then talking about D&D. &D. Um, best. Was the best. Fucking, I hate how you hate fantasy. Can't we get a Jeremy that likes fantasy? You should do a month of liking fantasy, like you did for your month of whatever the fuck you did. I didn't, wouldn't be positive in that. Month. People, yeah, I don't. You don't need. Uh, mm, yeah, maybe you would do. But like, people would love it. And then what we'll do is we'll play some Dungeons and Dragons, and everyone would watch it, and they'd love that shit. I wonder what you'd be. No, we get them to pick I, your race. I, I know exactly what I would be. Do you know what you'd be if you picked? Yeah, I would be pissed off. <laughs> You did it to yourself. You did. And that's what really hurts. Um, that's what really spurts. Boom. What race and class would Jeremy be? He'd be an, Ob be an, he'd be an Obgin, mate. I mean, the Obgin sounds decent. He lives underground, hates everyone, and tries to kill everyone. He lives underground. He's pissed off and has a go at everything. And everything annoys him. Yeah, I, actually, I do feel a bit infringed on. Actually, I think that we've got a copyright issue here. Yeah, when when was this character created? Well, there's always been Obkins in 
D and D. When did about, D, when was D and D created? Like about fifty years ago. I think okay. you might be unfortunately. Okay. They might just be a similarity. You know, at the end of films where it says any similarity to you know characters living and dead is it, really it's, coincidental. It's not intended, nor should it be implied. Yes, in this yeah. case. Well, I'm implying it, motherfucker. You weren't the model. You came forward in time, met me. <laughs> decided hey that makes a good character what annoying for D&D. let's make him into like, an we don't want him to to guess that it's him so we'll make them black and that's why they're black go back in time make the obgins the obgins in this case are green the drow are black and they're wow. not even black anymore just be clear well you know I, I, green is packers colors so i hate that shit too jeremy can be a magical halfling for max uh lol annoyance magical halfling yeah, you could be a wizard halfling. This sounds like the fucking worst. <laughs> I want you to play it so much. I can't but even... If you, uh, like, uh, okay. I will make you a deal. If you actually record and broadcast this and, I'm, and I don't have to pretend to like it, I will do this. <laughs> Human sorcerer. But just bear in mind, I'm going to rant a lot. Human sorcerer. No interest in portraying a fancy race. Unusual because his family are still alive. <laughs> No desire to prep spells. Just open the book and point at something. I cast that. Like, it could be quite funny to do what Dom just said. But yeah. Do you know what? So many people, and my brother included, Patrick does this all the time, is he creates a character whose parents are dead. He's like, oh, my parents are dead. And I'm like, okay, sure. Because that means... What is he, a fucking Disney character? (laughs) He can't... I can't use them as a a games master, as a dungeon master. I can't use them. His father was an elf and his mother was a human. So he is born, he's a half-elf, and his mother's low-born, so the father doesn't want anything to do with him. Which is just so cliche. Um, but he, anyway, so he's like, my father died, and we went to Silvery Moon, doesn't matter, uh, where his father used to live, and trust me, if it had gone any further, the father was coming back. The father wasn't dead, really. He was just going to storm into the... There was a court. They were going to do a courtroom drama. Well, I was going to force them to do a courtroom drama <laughs> where he contests the will. And he's like, there's nothing you can do to stop it, Patrick's character was going to say, because my father's dead and I am his rightful heir. And then it was going to be, boom, courtroom doors open. His dad comes back in. And honestly, I was going to laugh it up. Now, I, I don't know much about uh, Patrick's D&D playing habits, but I think I know enough to know that he would have fucking hated that he would have done he'd have been like uh actually alex um no, could we could we just play the game properly just, no, my, yeah right he's a bit like tim in that regard <laughs> um my dad uh my dad's cat my dad is actually dead in already this. established long dead he's long dead you thought yeah but you thought he was dead but he wasn't dead. no no alex seriously he's dead I'm, can listen we, i'm the dungeon can we, master can we not he's alive now <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then uh everyone had a go at each other and the campaign ended because everyone hated each other so irl irl yeah for real life people were not happy with each other irl we never did get to the end of that my poor campaign and he's here tonight (laughs) he's here tonight i mean you can just it was excellent you can just rerun that campaign for forcing jess to do shit yeah you know then you get to finish it maybe finish it until i rage quit it as well we sent in someone's disappointed father to see what their progress was like at Renewal. Amazing encounter. Oh. Was that in Teutonia? Because at the... Th- I'm trying to remember. It might have been at the third event. At the third event, somebody in Teutonia's mum came along. <laughs> oh, it's a difference. Yeah, someone in uh, Teutonia's mum turned up to see what was going on. And they were like, basically giving them shit. Their actual mum. No, like a in character. A the character player. Characters the character. Yeah, it's a stupid okay. shit. It would have been better if it was their actual mum. That would have been hilarious. I'm so disappointed I didn't get to experience the courtroom drama. Like, I'm a big fan of taking right turns in games. So, like, my brother would love the games to go from A to B to C to solve to kill the O at N thing. Mm. And if someone said, like, I'm like, listen, Patrick, your ca- your your character only has a claim to the household in Silvery Moon. So like you're gonna have to like contest See, like, it. parts of this sound fantastic and that's my problem. I love role play. Yeah. I just fucking hate fantasy. Yeah. Like so can we just role play decent stuff instead of this fantasy elves and orcs and bullshit and sorcerers and wizards and all that bullshit. Chicks and can ducks we just, and let's geese. just role play an actual courtroom. That sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I will allow this. <laughs> I may be an old southern uh lawyer, but I can see <laughs> If the court obliges me, I'd like to go on a ramble. Make it quick, counsellor. <laughs> it, so it would be good. Make it. You better be going somewhere. 
They all, they all, they've got to always be going. So- you better be going somewhere. Oh, I promise you, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> oh dear. Do you uh, like Lovecraft esque stuff? I don't know what that is. It's like Cthulhu. Do you know Cthulhu? It's like H.P. Uh, Lovecraft is a horror writer. From oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't hate Cthulhu, but it is. Even I feel it's a bit tired and probably needs to go to bed. To be um, honest, we have been playing Star Trek though. We played. We've been yeah, playing so Star I Trek thoroughly game. enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to to getting back to the, the Star Trek role playing game. That would be really good. <laughs> Where did the wizard touch you, Jez? Um, when did Benoit Blanc turn up? I actually watched uh, watched Knives Out the other day. Oh, what the original Knives Out or the, the Glass film. Onion one that they the uh, recent and the, the original. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I, I thought it was fucking stupid, but uh, I it enjoyed it stupid. anyway. I it is a fucking a stupid film, but I enjoyed it. Um, we are going to do at the end of this week. Um, we're going to do a mega game. We went to do it a few months ago, back in May. Oh yeah, actually. I remember. And it was a fantasy based thing where we we're all all the groups of which me, Aletha and Captain Brilliant were one, were vying for the throne in the wake of the destruction of our fair realm. We had a big fight against the bad guys and we won, but the place is mega fucked. And so everyone's got to claw back and like form a new government and a new monarchy. And so this time, if I'm remembering the previous conversations correctly, mm. this time you're going to sabotage and fuck shit up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for context, and if you've ever played a mega game, it's just a big board game that everyone's playing together and there's like 25 people and it's really lots of fun. And you should find one near you and play it because it's lots of fun. But I'll come and join us, that's fine. Um, so we went along and we were just fucking around and we were going to fuck around. Let's just fuck around. And I was going to be this undead creating... We were all magical guys from a university. So think like... Yeah, it's just like a magical university type thing. But I was secretly making evil fucking undead in the basement. And we were going to be all this evil shit and messing around until we realized partway through that we were winning. And then we were like, fuck me, let's keep doing what we're doing. And we won the whole thing. And Captain Brilliant became king. And we all got crowns. And we were all just wearing crowns. And it was amazing. So this part two of this game is like several centuries on. And our family and our, our descendants and descendants and descendants and children's children have been running the show for ages and have now... I don't know, 500 years on, ground it into fucking dust. And the characters we were playing are the descendants of those original characters. So we can try and basically win it, or we can just kind of try and fuck it up. Um, hmm. Yeah, when I said Cthulhu, I was really shortcutting because I didn't want to get into a whole load of description for it. But um, What's that word? Spook? Yeah, I mean, I don't know the word spook, but I presume it's... Uh, a typo? I don't know. It sounds like a real word to me. Hmm. I mean, the period's fine. I like, you know, that kind of. <laughs> it could be a real spook, word. right? Spook. Okay. Yeah, like the te- the 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 feeling in the nineteen twenties horror of. Yeah, kind I of mean, I love the, I love the twenties. Something beyond the world you know. Yeah. And largely, Lovecraft is about kind of like alien creatures who once um, ruled the earth uh, before we did, and then years went past and they all fell dormant or went back to the skies, and then we the stars rather and then when we as people grew up we're like kind of like in their place as it were and so a lot of them want to come back and fucking destroy us all or blah 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 that's a super fast version of it there's much more nuance yeah. um that doesn't that doesn't seem so bad yeah it's actually it's, it's a decent little decent thing and largely it's an investigative thing because you and your group of friends have found out that some monstrous horrific shit is going down and only you can save mankind and that sort of stuff but unfortunately, no one else knows what's going on and it's all mind-bending stuff. And if you say, well, actually, monsters are taking over everything, you tend to get locked away in a sanatorium. So you've got to just solve it. As you should. Uh, to the best of your abilities. Mm. <clears throat> the house band's in. Rooster, good evening. Hello. How are you doing? I hope you likewise are well. Very good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while, actually. It's been a, it's been a long road. I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, while yeah. We're here. It's been a while for that as well. I love the sort of games where you're normal people dealing with weird stuff. There's a game called Hunter, I think. It was a White Wolf game. So the same guys who did Vampire and, and uh, Werewolf and all that shit. And Hunter, I think, is a game where you are monster hunters effectively, but you're like regular people with, with born with pers- the ability to see through. People that look like regular people are actually fucking evil things walking amongst us, but you are kind of cursed with ability to see them for what they really are. And so you need to kind of use your powers to kind of do something about them. Unfortunately, they're all mega powerful and no one believes you. Uh, right. I'm going to ask you a question, but I've got to find out which one is the button. That one. Over. 
This one. one, yeah. So, is this the person you think is not Anatov? Is this not Anatov? Oh, do fuck off, Alex. <laughs> So the answer is this person. She looks like she's having a good time there. Oh yeah, she's having a really good she's time. Having a really Where? fucking time. Is that time, recent? Time of her life. Is that is that a recent photo of of her? Um, uh, <laughs> is that the person you think she had bears a striking similarity to Anatol? So it might be her. Go fuck yourself twice. You know very well that that is not the person that I believe is Anatol. That oh. is not not Anatol. That is fucking Travis Kelsey's missus. <sighs> Yes, it is. It is. It is. So, what you're telling me? It's not not Anatov. <laughs> oh dear, that was fun. That was lots of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I did. I think they enjoyed themselves as well. Mm. You know, fairness. Mm. Yeah. Right. Listen. Can I give the floor to you because I suspect there's something you want to rant about. If I'm if I'm right, am I right? Oh yeah. I mean, I just wanted to kind of follow up on. On a, a story from from yonder, DGMS. You you will recall, and it got made into a TikTok, so it's been around a little bit. Uh, my plight with other parents around the school coming to pick up their child and oh, not yeah. really knowing how to get the fuck out of the way. Yes. So previously, this was exclusive to foot traffic, and people would just stand in my way. Oh yeah, they would. But today, as I tried to leave the school car park, uh, I was presented with a dickhead who parked his van literally across the the exit to the car park. And Fucking like, hell. And, and he just booked it. Just, just fucked off. In, like, just went, gone to get his kid, I guess. He's just <sighs> fucked off in his car. And to make it worse, this is on an area... That has you know the the yellow hatching. Yes. The you know no no blocking this area. Not only did he block it, he blocked it in the worst possible place because there are some spaces that are just blocked out. Because as you come down out of the car park, it's like a multi. It's not multi-story, but it's like tiered. Yes. And as you come out, they've blocked off some parking spaces so that you've got enough room to swing your car left and right. But this guy had fucking parked. If this was the ramp, mm. he'd park like there, half covering it. Fucking hell. And I'm like, what what is wrong with people? What <laughs> why do you feel like the world revolves around you to the point? It's like, yeah, is, that'll do. I'll park there. Honestly, mate. Yeah. I know it says don't park there with the, the markings the on rules the ground. Don't apply and to I them. can see that there is an exit here, and there's like 50, 60 cars parked up there. None of them will want to leave in the in the next five minutes. It's only going to be 10 minutes. Don't be your problem is, mate. At the end of the school day. I'll just park here because I, if I, I can't park it. I can't possibly go and park at the top, but then I'll have to walk, won't I? I can't do that. Cunts, cunts, like, oh. cunts, 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 and, I, cunts. and now I want to know, and perhaps you can help me chat, is there a a way, is there something I can conceal in my pocket that is a quick method of deflating these cunts' tires. <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah, there is. There is such a thing. Yeah, I mean, not a knife. I'm at a school, but is no. there something that, like just looks like a pen, maybe, and I'm just putting a string on, and just pierces the tire, and then yeah, the car's fucked. definitely not moving if you do that. Yeah, well, good. I, We're all like, staying here. I want these I'm people. I'm staying here. I want these people to meet some consequences, and it's not going to happen. So I'm going to go vigilante on this shit. Screwdriver. Yeah, I screwed you. I might have to. That's a lot of. Make, I'll make a lot of noise doing that. Yeah. I'm in a very public place. You need to follow wanna, them home. I want, I want something James Bond where I can just go. And there you go. Pierces <laughs> the tire, it goes down. And I'm like, <laughs> Fuck you. Massive cunt. When you went. It sounded like the start to Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. And I can't explain why, but I really thought it was. Um, you need to follow this person home and deal with the car when it's at that location because at that point. You're inconveniencing them. It's really clear it's you. If you follow them home, find out where they live, go back later, and then let down their tires when they're at home. I could just do it. Yeah, I can do it just manually then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take your time. Take, take time. off and just go. Yeah, exactly. And they won't know it was you. There's no reason. It will never come back to you. It will never point. come back to you. Mm. Nail gun. Welcome in your old father. Nail gun would do the job. <laughs> Again, it might be a bit noisy though. 
Get a silenced nail gun. Nothing like I just here. mimed. Yeah, but just screw a silence onto my <laughs> nail gun. <laughs> I don't know, I've got two in this. I'm like Hitman. You know, I've got to do it quickly, so yeah. Like one half of the car is just. <laughs> <laughs> or put a nail behind their tyre. Or a nail behind their eye, Jeremy. I mean, you, That'll stop the problem things. is a nail behind their tyre would be where I need to put my car. So what I, ha I had to do in the end was remove a barrier that they've put on the on the yellow hashings because cunts kept parking on the yellow hashings uh, to move the barrier and go around like into a space that wasn't the space and round them in the end. So I did get out, but I'm like, fuck you, man. Just <clears throat> why are you such a cunt? The world is collapsing around our ears, mainly because of terrible, terrible fucking cunts. And that's why the rules don't apply to people. And that's why I need to do a rules don't apply to people. You really do. Yeah. yeah it, it writes to, itself. It does write itself. I think a lot of it might be the same joke over and over and over again. It's like, mm. why do people do this thing? Is it because they're cunts? Yes, let's move on. <laughs> but it's still funny. It is I still mean, funny. There was uh, there was literally no content to that, and I still laughed. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's going to work. So it's going to work. It's going to work. Yeah. Shoe knife. Shoe yes. knife. Yeah, a shoe knife. Yeah, because then I can be like, oh, yes. There's a, yeah. You've nailed it. There's a shoe knife. A bad guy in the film Roadhouse, which is a film I love, and also uh, Ellie. Um, also likes uh, where someone tries to come into the club with a shoe knife but Patrick Swayze sees it and breaks his leg yeah so let's hope that doesn't happen to you it's a little extreme they could have just said you can't come in mate he tries that but he says we just want to have a good time and he goes you're too stupid to have a good time so knife foot tries to kick Patrick Swayze and he catches his leg I mean, it does sound like Patrick it. Swayze escalated the situation to be honest is Patrick Swayze the good guy in this he is yeah, he later he is. on rips someone's throat out and that's definitely a good guy move I'll tell you what let's all watch um, Roadhouse and you be the judge mm -hmm. Roadhouse is excellent is there like a reverse tyre cap that you can screw on but lets all their air out we should design it oh we should design that shit. Clever thinking. It's, I mean, that's not a quick thing, is it? Because I've got to unscrew that the old one and put a new one on, but it's a good idea. He's such a massive prick, they'll probably puncture his own tyre soon enough. Not soon enough for us. No. no I not. love Roadhouse! Yes! Roadhouse is so good! Roadhouse love. Bloody love it. It is great. So, are you going to give me the mouse back, or are you going to fuck this up? Oh, sorry. Yes, you better have it. Okay. You better have it. Oh. Yeah. So I just wanted to update. Update. Schools are still shit. But did you is there something in there you want to put in to see or there? I mean, people being cunts and getting in our way has been the staple of this show for yeah. an awful long time. Which is which is why I didn't you know, when I said I've got a I've got a story but it doesn't really fit anywhere, it's because <laughs> we've already put these pricks in the sea and this yeah. and yet they persist. And yet they continue. Mm. Yes. What is it we can do about cunts? And well, uh, uh, we've nailed it now. It's a uh, shoe knife. I think I need to educate these people at least an, an audience of twenty or thirty at a time at, an, at the Edinburgh Festival until everyone's in a. Mind you, the kind of people that would come to that show. Yeah, you're preaching to the choir there. Yeah, that's true. Which is good because they'll laugh because they're like, "Yeah, those fucking pricks. I'm with you, Alex." You'd hope so. If yeah. They're there for comedy. They, they should sit there and laugh. go, "Oh, that might be me." Are there actually people who go to Edinburgh to to not laugh to uh... Edinburgh Festival? I mean, no, people not. from Edinburgh are notorious for not, not laughing, but I assume the people that come into Edinburgh for the comedy festival are there to laugh. They do like to laugh. Yeah. They do. Um, right. With 20 minutes to go, we've got the last segment to go. I think, by the way, it's been such a wonderful night. Thank you so much for coming along on a Monday. You guys are hilarious. Oh, yeah. Obgin. <laughs> Surely doing something about cunts is the purview of the Obgin. Oh, yeah, that's true. Ob I don't know if they're going to... Maybe they won't understand Obgin. Not in England. So maybe in this fantasy game that you're going to make me play, I will yes. be an Obgin, yeah. but I will play it as an OBGYN. <laughs> Keep going around the place trying to help Is people anybody, with their anybody need a pregnancy check issues. Anybody need a checkup? And no, no one wants a checkup from you because you're test. massively straight. Anyone smear test? That would be so good. Okay, final offer. Final <laughs> offer. Shoe nail gun. I think you've shoe nailed it there, mate. Mm. That sounds like a Bond gadget if ever I, there was I, one. I, and that's why i appealed to the chat because i feel like i <laughs> did need a bond gadget to to yeah, solve yeah. this yeah the q, doctor would, is q would hook me up 
glad to see who else wants to be involved in this uh in this Dungeons and Dragons. Vigilante tire letting down. I was going to oh vigilante tire letting down. Mm. I was talking about you being an obgin. Oh, okay. You're not the only. We need to have you need to have a party of people. You and other people I have to get some other people to play uh play play D and D. Am I am I going to be the only person that doesn't like it? Is that is that the joke? I think I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the joke. Okay, we'll have to film it. Well, with that in mind. As uh, as the bullying of me continues, we'll move yes. into our final segment. Uh, it's the question, the pondering. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> Get Mr. Morris. It'll be Duncans and Dragons then. That is good. Um, he would also play. Um, and Aletha would play because she really wants to play. I have a good non-D&D one-shot written. Mm. That sounds interesting. What's a one shot? Play, yeah, they're even play, play in one night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the reason we talked about this was mainly just because we did, as mentioned earlier, a uh, murder mystery for Keris's birthday. Mm. And that was good, I and it was that. a lot of fun. That was uh, was that twenties? Was it fifties? Fifties, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was fifties. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of golden age Another cinema. Another period I quite like. And um, we were. T- I was talking about I could run a Dungeons and Dragons. There's several Dungeons and Dragons um, murder mysteries, and I could run that, and everyone could um, play it. You can go first. Am I the asshole? Indeed. For keeping my uncle's money, because I was promised I would not have to babysit. Okay. Am I the asshole for keeping my uncle's money, because I was promised I would not have to babysit? Well, we'll find out, I guess. This summer, my family and my uncles family presumably my family and my uncles because it's apostrophe s got together in my grandmother's timeshare in orlando this summer my family and my <laughs> uncle's family got together in our timeshare <laughs> Coming orlando i love you sea world disney <laughs> putt putt golfing um to go to disney world and Universal Studios and <laughs> SeaWorld. Um, I wanted to go to Cape Canaveral while we were there too. Someone suggested we go to Epcot, but no one knew what the fuck it was. As soon as I found out my uncle was... We're still none the wiser, are we? I've, I've no idea, honestly. Like Mainly because, you know, what was said about it earlier was made up by Harmstone. Exactly. And yeah. he does. he's never very clear about anything he says anyway. He just... Yeah. Talk, says words and environmental science protection agency is all i remember from what he said epa epa <laughs> stick it up your jeeper as soon as i found out my uncle was coming i told my parents i would not be babysitting for him on my vacation not they today. promised me i would not have to do that oh it's one of these um uh the first two days went great i got to have fun at animal kingdom and Hollywood Studios. Day three was Epcot. <laughs> well, he did say the first two days were good. The third day, the obviously, third he didn't day. have a fucking clue what he was doing. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. Uh, <laughs> day three was Epcot, and my aunt and uncle started having a few drinks. <laughs> yeah, because they didn't know what the fuck was going on, so they had to entertain themselves <laughs> fucking, sometimes. where are we? What You're is in a massive this? golf ball. Get the fucking whiskey up. Um, I had fun at Animal Kingdom. Oh my god! Um, everyone loves Epcot. No, no, no! It's everyone loves the acclaimed. <laughs> I uh, is that a wrestling thing? It is. <laughs> um, <laughs> day three was Epcot. My aunt and uncle started having a few drinks. Don't know what I'm saying at least. My parents asked me to watch my cousins. I said no thanks. Nope. I was promised I would not have to babysit. See, Tom knows. <laughs> Yo, Yo, listen. listen. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, Tom knows. Um, <laughs> I was promised I would not have to babysit. My uncle pulled out a wad of cash and gave me $300, 300 smackaroos. <laughs> to which bucks. I said, how many children would you like me to look after? <laughs> I was more than happy to babysit for the day. It happened 
two more days. I watched my cousins three days and made nine hundred and fifty dollary doos. Does it say dollary doos? It does not. I made that up. Doesn't sound like you. I just like, said it. Hmm. Do you feel dirty now? Uh, uh, kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> Progress. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. We've had this or something really similar. The premise is similar. We have. The end is not. The other one had like three pages. That one we're talking about was mm. one where like they started off on their holiday before they got to a hotel. They hid which room yeah, they were going to be in. And it was in. massive entrapment and they kept doing it. So yeah. similar premise, different outcome. We have had ones Stay where it's it. like this uh, girls group went on holiday for a girly holiday and one of them's like, I'm bringing my kids and then like don't bring your kid because then i'll have to look after it it's like no you won't and then he brought the kid and said can you look after it you're so much better than me with the kid and I'm like fuck me so there have been lots of <laughs> handy dandy dollary doodles no it, it it works on the principle that nobody actually wants to look after their own children and they try and pie them off on other people yeah because you know fuck them kids it's a common theme so <laughs> i uh having two more days i watched my cousins three days and made 950 Bucks. I used the money to have fun with the kids. Well, they should have spent for that. And expenses. Think about it. I spent a little of it to get them snacks and drinks. Our meals were paid for by our parents. I took one day for myself and went to Kennedy Space Center. Kennedy. <laughs> does Kennedy, does he still wrestle? No. No. I always enjoyed that, though. I had saved up my own money for the visit, but now I had cash. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Wonga. <laughs> Wonga I paid for the VIP experience Wonga at Canaveral Yo VIP let's kick it It was amazing and I highly recommend it Okay cool 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 I also bought souvenirs I would not have had money for otherwise I got a lightsaber And the droid Fucking nerd Ah yes classic NASA <laughs> NASA trinkets uh... A lightsaber and a droid <laughs> Kennedy Space Center is like, can I get a lightsaber? You know, like, <laughs> like, uh, like, like they had on the Apollo 13. <laughs> you remember the moon landing? Fucking Neil Armstrong had one of those bad boys. There was a droid with him. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't play golf up there. It's one small step for a man. <laughs> <laughs> one giant. <laughs> I don't remember. For mankind. I don't remember C-3PO complaining about being on the moon. Master Armstrong, we should go back soon. <laughs> I don't remember that happening. I must protest. I must protest. What are we doing up here? Stop playing golf. <laughs> I'll play I'll play what I want, you tin bastard. <laughs> oh, shut up, R2. Nobody asked you. And that's the end of R2. Presumably that was Hollywood Studios. Well, it doesn't say that. It no, says, he said he went to, went to Kennedy Space Center. Kennedy, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Where did I get Canaveral from? Let's make that up. They're in your head. Mm. I paid for the VIP experience. I also bought souvenirs. I would not. I mean, I guess he goes, I'd highly recommend it. Full stop. I also bought souvenirs. Ostensibly, you could think of getting it from. In but general. But I think it runs right. on there a little bit. Yeah. This is a good bit. This is a good bit. <laughs> it is a good bit. Oh, you mean this bit? This is good. I, shut up. Right, anyway. <laughs> I got a lightsaber and I'm just Cape crazy Canaveral about it. is where Kennedy is. Okay. Kennedy! How did my brain get that? I did not know that. Before. Cape Canaveral. Apparently I did know that, but all the way back there. I'm not he mentioned does say it I wanted to go to Cape Canaveral while we were Okay, right, too. good, fine. Yeah, okay. It's all down here. I didn't think I had that knowledge without... You know, I thought you would have known there. Cape Canaveral. I, I didn't know. know that Canaveral and Kennedy were the space Kennedy. the same thing. Um, and we're scientists, as we've said before on this show. Oh, we know everything about the know. science. Are we rocket scientists, though? I feel we are. Well, it's just a science, isn't it? So, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's are. not rocket science. Well, it is, but, you it know. It's literally rocket people science. People say that, yeah. you know. Yeah, and we're very good at it. We are so we, good at it. As we previously mentioned. I know. I got a lightsaber and a droid. Not rockets. Rock, rocket. Um, and a wand at Universal. Right, yeah. Expelliarmus. <laughs> I said. Expelliarmus, money is from my walletus. <laughs> Axio babysitter. <laughs> Another one turns up. Um, it turned out to be a pretty good vacation after all. On the way home, my father said I'd played my joke long enough and to give my uncle his money back. Dad, <laughs> and I mean this sincerely. <laughs> fuck you, Dad. <laughs> you thought this was a joke. 
Oh, you, man. Oh, my God. On the way home, my father said I'd played my joke long enough and to give my uncle his money back. <laughs> Dad, you haven't even heard the punchline yet. <laughs> I said, she gone. And I pointed at my souvenirs. I honestly wondered where he thought I got the money to buy everything I wanted. He went and told my uncle that I spent it all. Yeah, well, the money you gave me. Yeah, uh, I mean, I exchanged money for goods or services. Right. And then I then exchanged that money for other goods and services as per the transactional nature of our world. What planet does the guy go like the uncle going, I'll give His you 300 pounds. It's just wink, a wink. joke. Ha ha. I'm going to do it twice more after, you know, for the other days as well. Ha 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 ha. At what point in that transaction would you ever go like, he knew that was a joke, right? Yeah. Because like, that's, that's the kind of joke that people put, you know, oh my God. So yeah. Uh, I honestly wonder where he thought I got the money to buy everything I wanted. He went and told my uncle that I spent it all. I actually still had $200, but I wasn't going to mention it. My mum told my dad that I had earned that money, and that they had broken their promise to me, and that I would not have to babysit. Correct. My uncle is upset with me for keeping the money. Well, duh. <laughs> you fucking idiot. And my father thinks I was greedy for taking advantage of the situation. Yeah, that's right. You're the greedy one. That's exactly right. Rather yeah. than the guy who presumed you'd do it for free yeah. while you can have a good time on holiday. Yeah, but, but he's the greedy one. Fucking fuck. While he's drinking at Epcot or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. the fuck. Epcot doesn't even exist. They made that up as well. Yeah, that's true. Um, I Yeah, my uncle is upset for me keeping the money and my father thinks I was greedy for taking advantage of the situation. I think he means I tricked his drunk brother. Is that the That's the end of it. Doesn't mm. even say am I the arsehole or anything. Um, am I the arsehole for keeping my uncle's money because I was promised I would not have to babysit? How much would a Disney babysitter cost? Would they dress up as someone? I don't know. Yeah, they, this is stupid, Karis. Karis is correct. This is stupid. That is the correct way of looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think perhaps Epcot is where you put the babies down to sleep? That's right. Babysitting? That is it. It's, the like Epcot. A, it's like a giant nursery. The Epcot. Yes. It's, there's only one of them. And you all share it. It's yeah. The Epcot. It's an EP cot. It plays a very short record by a band. They've only got three songs on it. Before they release a full album. Correct. Yeah. Whilst it's in the cot. Yeah. It's, strictly speaking, it's an EP cot. Um, it could be good for someone like The National, because they've only got three good songs. So that would work. Um, or, or The Killers. Indeed. Correct. As proven earlier. Mm. Yes. Conclusively. They, conclusively, they only have three songs. With no interjection from the chat whatsoever. <laughs> they are bangers, though, but they would only fit on an EP. Mm. See, they would, that was why they'd be perfect for the halftime show, because they only be the last three songs. And they would never expose themselves. And people would know the entire like set. So, yes. Okay, I'm, back, I'm back in on You're the killers. On board. Okay, thank God for that. <laughs> anyway... Uh, I think we're all fairly conclusive on this one because it's fucking outrageous. But let's just talk about it because, like, it's crazy. The guy says, "I don't, I don't want to babysit," and the guy just goes, like, wallops out his and makes it fucking rain. At what point did we people? Did anyone think that that was a joke? Who would ever think no, that was a joke? They he didn't. Just... He didn't think it was a joke, but he thought that he could manipulate the person by saying, "Oh, here's some money for babysitting. I'll claim that. Back I'll claim later. that back." And yeah. then later on, I'll say like, ha, 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 it was all a joke. I'll and get you, it back and I'll backdoor you, the babysitting. You, I've got everything I want. You've got nothing you want and you've lost several valuable days of your holiday. I'm a cunt and fuck you. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you've lost days of your holiday. I'm going to take that money back and you're the cunt for not doing it. Honestly, what is wrong? I would love to read the fucking comments on this one. In fact, afterwards, I'm going to go and read the comments or I'll just wait for... um. Armstone to find the comments, post post the thread in our thing. We could all read it. Because let's face it, we all want to see loads of people rip this guy to shit, right? I think so. Mm. Also, uh, how rich is he that he can bankroll his joke with 950 bucks? Yes. I know. I totally agree. At that point, why why didn't you just hire a babysitter in the first place? Honestly. I don't know where I... I, um, I was at the Harbour Arm the other day, and I was eating a sausage. And uh, sausage, uh, I guess it was the Oktoberfest at the Harbour Arm thing. And as I was buying one, I was, I was paying. Indeed, I was paying for one with my Apple Pay. So I bleep, and I paid for it like with a card, effectively. You know the process. You can just say you're a cunt, mate. You don't have to explain it. In How do I say detail. I'm a cunt without saying I'm a cunt? <laughs> um, I think I cleared it up earlier when I said I was a cunt. Pretty sure I said I was a cunt. I'm a cunt. Anyway, so we, the guy next to me, uh, bought a hot dog. And the guy who was selling it went, um, sure, it's seven pounds. He says, do you take cash? 
And the guy went, uh, can I take cash? Yeah, no problem. It's cash or card, whatever you want to do. He says, well, I don't want to pay cash. And he brought out this wad of shitloads of fucking 20s and stuff like that. One of these guys got just fucking money in his hand. He went, because I don't want to use cards. Why would I use cards? Cash uh, is king. Cash is king. He kept saying cash I, is yeah, king. Yeah, that is like the... The mantra. It's like the, the MAGA of 2023. Cash is king. And I was looking at him. He's like, because cash, you don't get charged for the cash, do you? Don't, cash is king. And I'm like, okay. But like, he's like, but you see, if I give you cash, it goes in your back pocket, don't get taxed on it. And I'm like, ah, oh, okay, sure. I just bleeped it and no one gives a fuck. Yeah. But anyway, so like when this guy brings out a wad of cash, it just reminded me of like, you don't get charged on it because then later on you take it back from your fucking nephew. I, I just hate that argument. The uh, like, yeah, well, when you pay on a card, like the credit card company takes a charge, isn't it? And that's the money gone. It's like, no, it's that the money in the credit card company's pocket. It pays their employees, pays for other stuff. It doesn't just disappear. Like it's energy. just gone into a different pot. It just goes somewhere. Like the money we're trying to get from all those uh, immersive theatre goers yeah. when we do our Among Us live theatre thing. Legally distinct from Among Us, but Among yes, Us. Uh, sci-fi social deduction game. Sci-fi based we, we social should, deduction. We game. should find uh, something that we can so we can spell it out as Among Us with an acronym. <laughs> a really long one. We we'll have to work on that one. Mm. I want to pay in shilling, shillings. I would like to pay seven guineas for this fine frankfurter. Um. Anyway, a succulent Chinese frankfurter. <laughs> Sucker. I see you know your karate well. Um, <laughs> I see you know your sausage well, too. <laughs> see you know, that's my sausage, sir. You're touching my sausage. <laughs> Cash is king. Cash is king. Cash is king, mate. So, judgment. I think it, we've fairly No decided. members contradicting. It is unanimous. Am I the arsehole for keeping my uncle's money? Because I was promised I would not have to babysit. No, you are not the arsehole. Your uncle is definitely the arsehole. You are not the arsehole. Not the arsehole. NTA, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got one now, haven't I? That's exciting. Do you think this one will uh, present us with the same calibre of arsehole? <laughs> I'd probably. Hold on, let me just uh, pour myself a... It's true. You wouldn't want to be pouring while I'm talking. It doesn't play well on the tickers. No. No. Make me try and get it. If we ever get round to making another tickers. Who knows? <laughs> One Who day. Fucking knows. One day there will be time. One day. <clears throat> get your hands. Get your hands off my sausage. Right, yes. Let's take us home. Am I the asshole? Yes. For refusing to bleach my asshole for a wedding. <laughs> It doesn't say that. That almost, honestly. <laughs> I'm just like, one day I'm going to get That him. almost fucking came out. That almost came out. <sighs> With my dessert, I've opted for a Kingston Negroni. I thought that said Klingon Negroni. And I now thought I it said... And now I, want, now I want a New York sour made with blood wine. With my dessert, I've opted for a Kingston Negroni. Is it made in... Is it imported from... Jamaica or Kingston upon Thames. It's a much. <laughs> There's lots of Kingstons in this country. You don't have to go very far to find a Kingston. There's a Kingston up the road from fucking where New we Canterbury, live. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was in uh, Dishoom yesterday, which is a lovely restaurant. There's loads of them in London, but um, and they gave like what you say when you sneeze. Dishoom. Uh, uh, well, when you Dishoom, you make a dish out of you and me. They don't. There's two O's in it. Anyway, um, and I had a alcohol an alcoholless. Negroni, because I've been drinking alcohol because I'm saving myself. But you can just say you're a cunt, mate. You don't have to go into detail. How do I say I'm a cunt? I was <laughs> looking at my fucking Apple phone and my Apple Watch, and I drank a, a, a non-alcoholic Negroni, and it was really nice. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> Eddie, Kofi, plenty of them. That's another wrestling joke, and it's a very good wrestling joke too. <laughs> oh my God, Jamaican rum in place of the gin. Oh shit, me! It was a Jamaican reference. Um, I mean, feel... that sounds like more more my kind of Negroni, to be honest. Oh. I don't like gin. I do like rum. Is there still Campari in it? Oh, there will be, yes. So rum, Campari and vermouth. I'll make one, see what you like of it. Speaking of rum... Yes? I tried the other day, and I know this is a digression, but it's an important digression, damn it. Uh, I tried the other day the 
11 Herbs and Spices KFC rum. Oh, shit me. Mm. The secret recipe. Yeah. The Colonel's glad you dropped in to have a rum. Mm. Oh, I bet he's glad I dropped in and paid him money for his rum because it's his dog shit. <laughs> Stick to the chicken, motherfucker. Yeah, it, t- it, t- it tastes like... like tastes like chicken. It does taste like chicken, but not in the... It, like Karis Car- described it as it tastes like butter and like it, it just tastes greasy it just tastes greasy Karis has just said bleh so yeah. wrong so I mean <laughs> a digression how will the stream recover uh, it might be nice digression. it might be nicer if you just drink it neat but you don't really oh, how drink how did you have it with coke yeah yeah with Pepsi Max obviously. oh yeah well, I'd like to try some. Absolutely. I've just got a whole bottle and two <laughs> shots that, you know, Karis and I oh, had. Oh, shit me. And then didn't drink. Did so. you need a bargain bucket to chuck up in? I mean, it wasn't that... It, it didn't make me retch or anything. I just what tasted it and I was like... Karis couldn't get over the smell. This is not nice. Perhaps you should have a KFC while you drink it. It might help. but the How the... did you come about having this bottle? What happened? You just I bought it. You, okay, yeah, cool. I didn't know if it was a present because people do love to gift you. Uh, no, it, what what happened was uh, <laughs> I was looking for a a gift for uh, my friend Matt. Yes, whose birthday is today? Actually, Patriots Matt. Matt. Patriots Matt. T- tomorrow Matt. Tomorrow Matt. Yeah, uh, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday! He's right. not watching. He's his birthday's tomorrow Matt. Being a cunt. Oh, that uh, and and <laughs> so I found I found this rum, this KFC rum, and I was like, ah. Oh, that sounds Bingo. fun. Uh, I'll get, have a go with that. Yeah. But obviously, I wasn't just going to buy him a nice thing. I'm like, oh, I'll have a go as well. And so bought, bought myself two. a nice thing. Oh, so cool. I bought him a bottle and me a bottle. Um, now we you... were going to drink it together on stream. <laughs> uh, but he um, prematurely a uh, KFC Shot rum himself related. in the head because he didn't want to drink it. And uh, he reported that it wasn't very nice. <laughs> I... Also drunk it, reported back, you're right, that is not very nice. <laughs> what, uh, have I d- what have I done to you, Jess? So now, between us, we've got pretty much two full bottles of this rum that we don't really like. I thought we were friends. <laughs> what have I done? And that was his birthday gift, too. So, ha <laughs> fuck you, Matt. <laughs> yeah, birthday. Yeah. Less but singer, I'm, more minger. I like that. That's I'm good. wondering if there is some kind of cocktail that I can use it in that will salvage it. Maybe. In in a kind in the same way that you know the bacon me angry has got like the fatty bacony vodka, mm. whether <laughs> there is some kind of cocktail I can make with this KFC rum that then when I shake it it kind of yeah. it makes it taste less fatty. Is and... there a way of taking this eleven herbs and spices rum and saving it with a cocktail? Mm. And that's the question to you. Mostly Dom because he knows this shit. <laughs> Finger sticking down your throat, good. That is also good. Yeah. And that made me laugh. Uh, there will be, but I'm not buying a bottle to work it out. Well, don't worry, because we've got one. We have one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll send you some. We'll put it in a bottle. Yeah. How much do you need? Up. We'll put it in a little thing. And How much do you need to make this work? 100 mil. We'll send him 100 mil. We can send him loads. Yeah. What else do we keep you for, Rat Free? Rat, yeah. Dom is here to solve our cocktail-related issues. Mm. I mean, I'm also happy to experiment myself, but among other things, I, I did. And one, I did wonder if you you could just delve into the, your knowledge and just be like, oh yeah, well, if you mix it with this kind of alcohol, that'll offset the the fattiness of it, and blah 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 blah, or whatever. And I think this is uncle. one he's going to have to taste. Mm. He's going to have to taste it. Mm. I mean, I I do think he and everyone else should taste it, uh, mainly so that you're all sharing in my pain. Well, let me say, if we do do, um, uh, umbop. Fest. Maybe part of the Mbop Fest, apart from listening to Mbop, <laughs> we could do the tasting. One of the events could be the tasting of the 11 herbs and spices rum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. There's only one sort of yeah on this fucking show. So, anyway, where were you? Oh, I think I was reading an Am I the Arsehole and I almost made you spit take by reading the wrong title. <laughs> Only 11 episodes till Umbop Fest. We better get that fucking shit. They list white pepper as a tasting note. <laughs> it's just ass. Hmm. <laughs> white pepper. I'm getting white pepper. I'm getting notes of <laughs> Schwinkter. 11 herbs and spices. Did they tell you what the 11 herbs and spices are? Of course right? not. That's a secret. It is a secret. Mm. Well, apparently one of them is salt. <laughs> salt and pepper. Makes Push sense. it real good. Yeah. Let's try this again, shall we? Please. Am I the arsehole 
for refusing to bleach my hair for a wedding. So it's not her asshole, it's hair. Refusing to bleach my hair for a wedding. Mm. What wedding? I mean, we're going to find out. But it's going to be someone who's like, oh, I'm getting married and this person's getting married and I'm their best friend, but everyone's bleaching their hair and I don't want to do it. Anyway, I don't know. Well, I don't have to do it now, do I? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers. I know. Mm. Okay, no, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's a great day for a white haired wedding. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> um <clears throat> So, I have a weird problem. And after I told my boyfriend, he told me that you cunts would be the perfect place to get help. <laughs> he said, Have you heard of the internet? They'll weigh in. <laughs> the internet? An opinion? Yeah, probably. <laughs> So I, 25 female, am meant to be in the bridal party of my friend, Zoe, 26 female. Okay. The wedding is in December 2024. This is irrelevant and we don't give a shit. Looking forward to it then. A couple days ago, she met with me and the rest of the bridal party to discuss what the plan was for hair, makeup, dresses, etc. At first, it seemed reasonable. <laughs> She's going for a winter wonderland type of theme. So blue dresses, all in different shades, lined up as a gradient. Ah, oh, that's nice. You don't like that. With silvery <laughs> accents, snowflake jewellery, and soft makeup. Are they like Elsa from... Mm, it does seem elsa -y. yeah, yeah. Frozen. Even blue contacts for those without blue eyes. Uh, you know, I kind of dig it as a look, but anyway. It sounds more like a porno than a wedding, but again, I will accept this. <laughs> Just as long as I get a copy. I think I see where this is going. Yeah, in my porn collection. <laughs> Last one's a bit weird, but it's no big deal to me. I've worn coloured contacts for Halloween. Yes. The bit that ended up being an issue for me is that Zoe requested we all get our hair dyed. A couple members <gasps> of the group, the bridal group, are natural blondes with dyed ends. And so is Zoe. But she wants to go platinum for the wedding. Yep. But the rest of us are two brunettes. A strawberry blonde. She wasn't blonde enough, apparently. And a redhead. <clears throat> I'm one of the brunettes. And I'm the only one in the group who has never dyed or bleached their hair. Yeah, if you haven't done this, you probably don't really want to start. You want to do it for the first time. No. 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 I've considered it, but I can never stay settled on what I want to do. And I would hate to spend money on something that I end up hating. On top of that, my mom spent ages uh, spent from age. On top of that, my mom spent from ages five to thirteen flat ironing my hair almost every single day. Wow! It really damaged my hair. I'm almost certain that it resulted in my hair being thinner than it used to be. I know bleaching can also damage your hair, and I don't feel comfortable taking that risk. They fuck your hair up, your mum and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. I told Zoe why I wouldn't be able to dye my hair. She insisted it would be fine, as my hair seemed quite healthy. Also, P.S. is bullshit, apart from the other things, but anyway. Uh, it seemed quite... My hair seemed quite healthy, and she would be paying for the bleaching treatments for all of us. <laughs> Fucking hope so. I again said, no, thank you so much, but I can't. I asked if I could just wear a wig. There you go. That was I was thinking that. I can't even speak, but I was thinking that. She said no. <laughs> of course she did. Wigs are cheap and unnatural. And yeah, she wants dye in your fucking hair. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> and she wants us to have our real hair bleached Ugh. instead of some cheap imitation for the day. It doesn't have to be cheap, does it? There are more expensive wigs. Yeah, you just you just spend more money on a wig, and then yeah. it's not a cheap wig. They're not. It's only wigs don't have the options of shit and cheap. Otherwise, all these fucking actors in films would be like, oh, my hair doesn't look very good. Yeah, right? well, no wigs look good, do they? No one's worked out. No one's really cracked that wig situation. Mm. Crack that wig. They, they, they totally have cracked the wig situation and because there are several millions of people out there who unfortunately have to lean on wigs after cancer treatments and things. So they do. And they are very legit, very real, very good, very passable wigs. So shut the fuck up. After more back and forth, she told me I should go home and think about the fact that I'm ruining her vision. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. And that I'd be ruining the photos and wedding video that she and her fiancé, 30M, irrelevant, thank you, 
will be putting together for his grandparents, 84M and 82F. Like, they give a fuck. Like, I give a fuck how old they are. It's part of this my, story. You're going to disappoint my grandparents. Do you want to gra- disappoint my grandparents mm. on my wedding day? You do this to me? I thought you were my friend. And I don't give a fuck because your granddad's 84. If he was 83, then we'd be, we'd be having words. But he's 84, so we're all right. <laughs> The bride was insistent that she had an Aryan wedding. So <laughs> probably did she invite former Texans running back Aryan Foster? So that would help out a lot. It's a nice day for a white power wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that had to it's come out. Good. That was a good one. <clears throat> uh I'd be ruining the photos and wedding video and that sh- she and her fiancé will be putting together for his grandparents to view since they won't be able to fly in from Argentina. I apologised, paid for my meal and left. And then hit the stunner. That would be amazing. I really don't want to dye my hair, but I also don't want to ruin Zoe's picture-perfect day. So I won't go. I don't think I'm being difficult or wrong here. Am I? Being difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. It's am I the arsehole, not am I being difficult? Am I being difficult? Am I being difficult? That's a good one. Um, do not fuck your hair up for one day, pleasing someone else, she says in caps. And I believe or even several it. days. Do not fuck up your hair to please someone else, no. regardless of the length of time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is just, is fucking ridiculous. Um, if I was in my friend's bridal party and this was their request, I'd seriously have to consider why I wanted to be friends with them in the first place. I mean, yes, that is true. Um, I'm sure that these Argent- this Argentinian 83-year-old grandmother would like... <laughs> She's 82, actually. Oh, 82. Why has she got brown hair? <laughs> the rest are all blonde. <laughs> why? <are> you- <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing. I can't... <laughs> You killed my grandmother. Is that you what you want? Your brown fucking hairs. Not the same Why name. are you friends with a brown haired woman? Doesn't make any sense. You have such lovely friends. Why have you done. I don't know. It's suddenly turned. <laughs> She's Italian. It's Ita- Why are you doing. Papa Napoli, huh? I can't do an Argentinian. I don't even know what an Argentinian I, I couldn't accent tell is, you. actually. Who's famous in Argentinian that we can lean on to get into that accent? Vita? I don't know. Oh, she just sounds American. But that might just be Madonna. Mm. <laughs> Why are you bringing me? This brown haired woman. Uh, oh, God. So, like, she could have got up. So it got to an end now. We don't know what's going to happen. God, do you know what? I want to find out where this fucking wedding is and fucking attend. In a so wig. much. A brown in a, wig. In a, brown, in, a, in a wig. We all turn up in blonde wigs. And like, absolutely, everybody's there. I'm like, we could see the wigs look fine. And I obviously have no hair, really. So that would be brilliant if I had like a blonde wig and it looks really good on me. <laughs> I can imagine you in a blonde wig. Have you seen that um, that meme of the cow wearing a blonde wig? Uh, it rings it a bell. It turns to the camera and the wind wafts it. It's fabulous. <laughs> That's what it'd be like. That'd be like that. Yeah. Um, well, I-, I think really we know the answer to this question, don't we? <laughs> There's so much white power jokes here. It's just like, <laughs> oh yes, the reason they can't fly in from Argentina is they are Nazis avoiding extradition. <laughs> That's so why lot... they need to make everyone look like Aryans. Um, they're going Winter Wonderland theme. Just get giant snowman outfits. Exactly, exactly. There's so many things they've missed the trick here. It clearly feels like it's a very frozen wedding, and they're like, she hasn't outwardly said it, but she's dressing them all like. Like, like like Elsa. Elsa. Well, can't she be the sister? What's the sister's name? Anna. Anna. She's brunette. Yeah, she is brunette. She's kind of. I feel like there's a touch of a kind of a, a redhead brunette. But yeah. I don't know the film that well, but I mean, they should all go as characters from Frozen. One should be like the snowman. Yeah, Olaf. Olaf. And one should be the the, the reindeer. The reindeer. Uh, igneous. And um, one should be the guy she falls in love with. Gurk. 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 So. Gurk. <laughs> Gurk. Gurk. Something. Gurk. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this film. G- G- <clears throat> Gr- so Gryffindor. Is that his name? <laughs> That's his name, man. That's he, his he name. Yeah, lots, 100%. He gets lots of points. Yeah, 10 points. Lucius Malfoy. Lucius. 
I like it. Um, uh, uh, fuck me. <laughs> so, listen. This is a very... Someone said earlier, bridezilla. Bridezilla's are weird. They, these requirements, like, you're talking... Imagine the wife is talking... Not the wife yet, but the, the woman is talking to her, her, her future husband, saying, so what I want is we're all going to die everything. And, she, and he probably just went, are they all going to do that? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal, is it? I've done it loads. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's like, yeah, but some people might... Uh, no, that's what I want to do. It's like, okay, go for it. Do it. Do it. Mm, whatever you want, dear. You do exactly you, as you feel. do it. It's your day. It's your special day. And everyone should dye your hair. No, no, no. It's not. You're not the arsehole. What's the question? Am I the arsehole for not dying? Am I the arsehole for refusing to bleach my hair for a wedding? No, no. And I feel we're all in agreement here. Uh, You are not the arsehole for doing this. And I don't know. Thank you very much. That got there. I don't know if there's any. um, Like, yeah. How good a friend are you with this person? I don't know if it says that I'm her best friend or whatever, but like, at what point of, does anyone think to themselves, I want to still be friends with this person? Because like, do you know what? If I am going to stick out, I just won't attend. Yeah. If this is a, if this is really a problem and my wig solution is not suitable for you, then I think it's best that I just don't come. Yeah. So I'm done. So I don't stick out like a, like a sore thumb. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I think that would be. Fun. But you know, I just. What are we? How are we? Why are we surprised? So yes, we've all agreed. So say all of us, not the arsehole. So hmm. that's great because it brings us to quarter past ten, which is the time that we finished fifteen minutes ago. Sounds like there are a lot of bridesmaids. You won't miss one. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to fuck up the fact that she, her her blue gradient, which is going to beautifully gradient down. It's I bet be she's like, one of the key, the key colors as well. She's it's like, just going to be oh. the transition between teal and Aquamarine and, and uh, Cyan or whatever the fuck. And it's like, shit me, you are teal. That's, that's the worst one of all of them. That's a lot of blues. Yeah. It's okay, we'll just transition to Sapphire. It won't work. Um, <laughs> she's ruined everything. She's fucked it all up. Get her back. <laughs> and pin her down and dye her hair blonde. If her hair's blonde already, she'll come back. <laughs> if she wakes up and she's got blonde hair, and it's like, well, now there's nothing stopping you. Hmm. Um, God damn it, Teals. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to Teal eventually. That's a good reference that hasn't come up in a while. I know. It won't make much sense to a lot of people, but it is a very good joke, and you'll just have to accept that it's a good joke and laugh. Now, listen, we've had a wonderful time, um, but ruining someone's wedding isn't a joke. Um, that's not true. Of course, it's hilarious. So we're going to be back next Monday. Correct. And Correct. And... Uh, which will be the day before I go to Essen for so maybe we'll talk about board games and shit that'd be fun I don't know if we will but I probably will want to because it'll be like right before me and uh, Captain Brilliant fuck off so join us next Monday for more of this shit yay another Monday says Vanessa Vanessa's happy about Mondays and so is Joe Enjoy your S and M week. I will. I'm gonna go to see my friends, and there's gonna be so much S and M. He's gonna S and M so hard. Yeah. He's gonna listen to all that Sing and Ming. Yeah. And and not oh drink. Oh my. Yeah. No alcohol. Oof. Well, we'll see how that goes. They're giving me free alcohol. I know, right? Tell me about it. Right. Let's fuck off. Okay. See you then. See ya. Fuck shit, you're